Okay, looks like we are online. Technical difficulties or no. And that means it is almost time to get started with some Dankest Dungeon. Dankest Dungeon 2, actually. The uh, Dankest Dungeon 2 has gone uh, out of early access, I believe. So now it's available in a lot of places, including Steam. And I believe this is considered the full version of the game. I believe it is. I believe it's the full version of the game. Um, not to say that they won't add more things to it, but now Darkest Dungeon 2 is officially out of uh, early access, and now you can actually buy the game on Steam. I have the game on Epic since I bought it immediately, and um, I haven't really played a whole lot of it since I originally defeated the brain, so that means that a lot of this is going to be pretty new to me, which is exciting. ADH Gamer is first. Congratulations. Also, chat, take note that there is a bunch of new commands. Yes, that you can spend your your Fox points on a whole buttload of additional things. Where'd they go? Where are they? Where, oh, here are my channel points. Yes, there is a whole bunch of new ones. Um, I, I'm still kind of, you know, we're, we're going to be kind of beta testing them, so to speak. You know, um... I don't know how much they should cost, and I don't know how long their cooldowns should be, right? So we are beta testing. But yes, you guys are going to be able to um, choose your characters and whatnot. We got a lot of interesting things that you are going to be able to do. Nathaniel Day subs with a T1 from Amazon Prime. He's been sub for 14 months. Good gravy. Thank you for staying with the Fox Republic as long as you have, Nathaniel Day. But, uh, yep, I feel like I'm going to get started. So if you guys want to participate, you can become the characters. What we're going to be doing first, though, is um, I need to create a new progression. This is, uh, you, you know, you can't have no profiles. You always have to have at least one profile. So I have named this profile conveniently Delete Me. So this is going to be called um, the Fox Republic. That's going to be our playthrough. We'll get rid of the Delete Me one. There we go. Okay, so now as you can see, we have a totally fresh uh, profile. So we don't have anything unlocked. We're going to be playing uh, literally from the beginning of the game. We'll see how that goes. The way it's going to work is you're going to be able to claim some of the heroes. You have no idea what's going on. Well, don't worry. I only have a little bit more idea of what's going on. I do know how to play the game like to I I know the I know how, I know how to play the game enough to beat the first boss. Not that we are going to be beating the first boss on our first stream. The, this game is not known for being easy. But, um, let's begin. Oh, wait, no, I should explain the rules. So here are the rules. There's going to be four characters. It's the way it works. And I'm going to let chat become two or three of the characters. There will be one character that will serve the purpose as the general chat character, like everyone else who didn't get to claim a character, they all get to play as that one particular one. And I will let you make some decisions. I will let you spend some of my money. You know, I'll let you spend, uh, you know, like I'll let you steer some of the direction of the show, you know, for better or for worse, probably for the worse, probably for the worst in this game. Because once again, this game is known for being very, uh, it's a very hardcore game. There's a lot of opportunities to make mistakes, and there's not as many opportunities to, to make smart decisions. But it'll make more sense as we go. Let's go ahead and get started.
my protege, my friend. Our calculations were correct. The ephemeral equation is unbalanced. The Earth spins on a strange and terrifying new axis. And everywhere, unbridled consequence. The world is a wasteland of failure's past. And yet, you must ride out into it, unafraid. Take this. It is hope, the very last of it. It is yours now. You were bold once. Be bold once more. Free yourself from this suffocating stillness. Fix your gaze on the horizon. And face the fearsome truth of the darkest dungeon. Right, so this is Darkest Dungeon. As I said, I have not played this game since it was... House on the borderlands. Half swallowed by the stain. I have not played this game since it was in early access. You know, we did beat the first boss, but they have, from since then, they have added a lot more bosses. It also took me a lot of tries before I finally took out the boss. Uh, there's we, we won't no no decision making on the prologue. The prologue is literally just a tutorial, so you know. This is just a prologue, so I'm not no no decision making during the prologue. I will. I know failure well. I glimpsed it lurking at the ragged edges of your mind. I watched its venom spread through the veins of the world. And I trembled at its terrible reverberations. The crossroads. A beacon for Okay, so I will explain a little bit about how the game works as we go. So this is a uh, an RPG game, and our goal we are on a one way course, a one way trip to the mountain, which is why the mountain was shown very prominently in the um, the opening cutscene. When I say we're on a one-way trip there, this is not a game where you can just like, oh, I'm just gonna farm some EXP, I'm just gonna grind some enemies, get a bunch of preparation done. This, this, you have a time limit. Like, you will, you will go to the mountain one way or the other. Like, you, you have a limited amount of time to get as strong as you can to overcome the mountain. That's the basic idea. You cannot, the game does not allow you to dilly-dally. So, when you get to this post right here, this is where we're allowed to choose our characters. Now, when we get out of the tutorial, I will let you claim the characters. But uh, for now, since it's the tutorial, I'm just gonna, you know, go through the tutorial. So these are our characters. As, like, I deleted my progression, so we're starting from the very beginning. And these are the original four characters. This guy here, Pride. he was in the original game. More devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. But he was not a starting character. Over here we got Dismas. So I'll let you change their names and everything. So we've got Barristan, the man at arms. We have Dismas. Dismas is literally, I'm guessing, the same guy from Darkest Dungeon 1. Hunted. Harried. A fugitive seeking to outpace the past. Then we've got the grave robber, Audrey. Also, all of these characters are from the original game. Only two of them were in your starting party, though. Um, who did you have? You had the Crusader and the Vestal. Those are the additional characters. Avarice slips unseen into the catacombs of the mind. And then, of course, we've got the Plague Doctor, P Paracelsus. What, what a name. Indiscriminate science stains the surgeon's hands. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to switch their positions right here. I prefer her to be in the front and him to be a little bit further back because he's going to, um, he's going to be moving forward in just a moment. Anyways, so this is our team. Like I said, normally I will, like, once we're through the prologue, I will let you claim characters so you'll be able to change the names to, like, Woogly Boogly, for example. 
and then you can be Woogly Boogly, the man at arms. The way it's going to work is two or three of the characters will be claimed by the chat, and then one of the characters will be the universal chat character. So when the uni when everyone else in the chat uh, buys an item or something, it'll go to the universal chat character. But you will not be able to influence the characters that are claimed by a particular viewer. Only I can make decisions for them, or they can make decisions for themselves. But let's continue on, shall we? So this is the tutorial. It's like just teaching you Onward. the basics of the game. And let us hope enough yet remains of the world. The first thing you want to do is drive very recklessly and crash through as many obstacles as possible. The bulwark of your denial is giving way. When we hit a roadblock, we run into enemies. Now, this is an easy fight. They're like... This, this is an easy fight. That, that's all that matters. So what we need to do is beat the crap out of these guys. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I get a healing sound, right? Okay, I guess... I, oh, they're probably just teaching me how to play. Wow, I guess I'll just heal somebody who isn't injured because it's not letting me do anything else. There you go. What a waste of supplies. All right, so this guy is going to use an ability that is going to cause him to move forward. I, he doesn't have a choice. When you use that ability, you will move forward. You don't get to choose, and that's exactly why I want him to start there, because I, I do want him to use that ability. Um, we're just going to smash these guys. Like, I'm, I'm not using any fancy ability. Wait, that's a... I, I just look at this, and I just see a big old weapon. I'm like, oh, that's the weapon I use to bash people with. No, we're just going to bash these guys down. I'm not, I'm not going to be trying to do any... Fancy shenanigans right now. Now it's their turn, but he died because he sucks. Don't worry, all of us will be dead because we suck too. Just give it, you give it a little bit of time. Just give it a little bit of time. I'll go over our abilities in greater detail in a bit. Easily resolved. Okay, here we. I, I already know about all these things. I, I know. I basically know how to play the game. Not that doesn't mean I'm good at the game, but I know how to basically play the game. There is so much worse in store. Okay, like I said, pro tip: we need to crash into every obstacle along the way. You must be Here's an event. To shoulder more. This event is called the, the Desperate Few. Uh, it will always be the Desperate Few. It's not. It's like only somewhat random. So this is where we got to make decisions. The people with speech bubbles over their head are the ones who are pitching our options. And uh, fortunately for this one, it's always good. And everyone agrees with the decisions. Like when I point at Audrey, the, the grave robber, you'll notice that Dismas starts becoming a Super Saiyan. And if I point to Dismas, the, the, um, the highwayman, then Audrey starts becoming a Super Saiyan. That means that they agree with the decision. Um, Paracelsus and Woogly Boogly, they don't, they don't really have an opinion about it, so it doesn't affect them. But since she likes that decision, it means if I choose it, that they're gonna like each other a little bit more. But that's only one factor. The other factor is, we, down here we get stuff. So what we're gonna get here is a hundred more hope. Hope is represented by the torch. Like, the more hope we have, the more light we have. Um, it's not good if you run out of light. It's it's not it's not good. I mean, maybe if you're really good at the game, it's okay. I'm not very good at the game, so it's not okay. Um, the other thing that looks like I think the bottles and bandages are like uh, healing supplies, like a bandage or burn ointment or an antidote. And over here, the ring would be a trinket. Well, I want a trinket. Not that it matters because this is the prologue and it's gonna reset everything. So now they like each other a little more. Woo! We get, like, a more hope. I, I get a candle. Not to be mistaken with, like, torched. Candle is, like, this is the money that we use to buy stuff. Like, when we inevitably crash and burn, uh, we use the candle to buy stuff at the beginning of a new run. And then, like I said, we would get a trinket, so we got the heat shield. It makes us more resistant to being set on fire, but it makes us less resistant to being poisoned. So, you know, you, you can't even just have what you want. It's just the way it works. We're going to continue crashing through everything, like, the, like I said, a big pro tip there. 
It's harder than it looks, though. It's harder than it looks. You might think it's like, oh, oh, look at that. I missed it. You can feel it. A change in the air. Here's another blockade. That means we're going to get into another fight. You see, even your valley is not immune to the spreading. Thing. Okay, so this is a real fight. Like, this, this formation of enemies is much more of what I would consider an actual fight. So there's three enemies here. You can count them. One, two, three. This guy's a big guy, though. You can tell because his health bar is so huge. He basically counts as two people. And uh, so now we'll talk a little bit about what our characters do. So Barristan is our tank. Uh, he's really good at not dying. And he basically bosses people around. He's like, fight, you idiots. And he like encourages people by like, yelling at them. So he's really good. He's probably good. He's, he's like my favorite character. Then we've got Audrey, the grave robber. She has all the power of drinking a large quantity of liquor, which I'll do right now. Glug, 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 glug. Okay, now they want me to use the Plague Doctor. The Plague Doctor is all about e either, like, putting salt in your wounds or fixing your wounds. Like, she's kind of a, he she's a bit of a healer caster. And what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is throw poop in their eyes. So what I'm going to do is blind both of them. So they, they have these little this little eyeball thing. That means on their next attack, they have a 50% chance to miss, which would be really good because I, I don't want them to hit me with that big old weapon. Uh, it's time to attack? Maybe? Nah. I'm going to do this instead. So this is like the basic thing that the man-at-arms does, which is defend and not die. He's really good at that, though, so I'm okay with that. The Highwayman, he is our damage dealer. And um, ironically, he likes to get attacked because he counterattacks. But he's not, he's kind of fragile, so I, I kind of am on the fence about it, about that idea. You know, I kind of want to get rid of you, actually. So different enemies do different things. Her thing is she likes to make us feel sad. So oh, look at that, he missed. The poop in his eyes caused him to miss. Oh! Oh, they both missed. That's right. The poop in their eyes succeeded. Sometimes it doesn't, though, and it makes you sad. So I, I want her dead. So what... So in all seriousness, what the grave robber does is... Um, she likes to throw things at people. And the thing I want to throw is a poison dart. Unfortunately, I guess she was like... She, she, I guess she got vaccinated because uh, she, she's not getting poisoned, I'm afraid. So, um... Instead, we're going to beat this guy up. Um, so one of the things about the game is where you are is pretty relevant. I can't just attack her whenever I want. Most of my characters do not have a weapon that reaches far enough. So instead, I can't do that. I'm going to attack somebody closer by. So, like I said, her thing is that she makes people sad, and that's exactly what she's doing. She's poisoning me with sadness. This is my bar of sadness. If the bar fills up, then people get really sad, and it's it's not good. Oh, I guess I get a healing salve? Don't, okay, let's overheal the hell out of Audrey. There we go. of trust. Okay, so he's one of the people who can attack people in the back rank, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. This pistol of his, it's not super strong, I'd like to point out. It's more just like, I can shoot into the back rank, and I said so I will. Now they can't make us sad anymore. Now here's something, Here, this is not a pro tip, this is a basic tip, this is a beginner tip. Always check to see how much damage your poison is doing. It's gonna do four damage. He's got two health, so I don't need to do anything else to this guy. He is at the next time it's his turn, he's gonna die because of the poison. So we're not gonna continue attacking this guy. Instead, we're gonna continue attacking this guy. This guy has a little shield here. That means that the next attack that hits him is gonna be reduced by 50%, which is like, you know, that's kind of annoying. But I do have a way to get around that. This particular attack with the pick pierces through defenses, so that's what I'm going to do. 
Oh, I lied. So completely disregard that chat. I'm just a huge liar. Like it, it, it reduced it anyways because I'm not good at. I, 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 I don't know how to read. I, I kind of know how to read. He resisted that too. That wasn't very nice. He has 20 blight resistance and he still resisted it. I, I'm calling shenanigans on this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and protect you because I don't want you to get hit with the giant axe. So what he does is he takes the hits for So here, perfect example. So he actually attacked her, but he has an ability to take the hits for her. And since he's going to reduce the damage, that's, that's perfectly fine. I'm okay with it. He died of poison, as I mentioned. And now we're just going to, like, beat the crap out of this guy. Yeah, let's just keep doing that. This guy's got like a ton of blood to go through. He doesn't. He doesn't go. We're gonna try it again. Twenty. Yeah, he has. If I look down here on the bottom right, it says he has twenty blight resistance, so it should go through. A About to say. Dissection. Let's try it again. An unavoidable end. Now we can stack the poison up. So now he's taking six poison damage because the the poison darts do two poison damage, and then the poison powder does. Um, four. So, four plus two is six. Well, let's check his damage. So he's got eight health. That means I only need to do a little more damage to him, then he'll be dead. So he's going to die on it. Well, actually, no. He, he, he is a guy who, he, he's got a strong grip on life. This is such a tutorial thing. There's no way I would normally be able to get that much health. Now, Okay, so he goes down to Death's Door. Death's Door is your last chance to not die. Uh, all of us get that, and then some enemies also are able to go to Death's Door before they die. Uh, once you get to Death's Door, any any damage could kill you, but you do have um, a reasonable chance to not die. So what we got to do is just keep letting him have it. Actually, I'm going to use a healing ability. Watch, the, watch how fancy this is. I'm going to get rid of his bleeding and his poison. So, that time he did not die, he got hit with the poison damage. The poison damage could have finished him off, but it didn't. Let's go ahead and... Oh, he survived two hits! He, he's a he's a real fighter here, see that? Come on. Three, the third hit got him. It did him in. Also, welcome everybody to the chat. Zenmaster, Crimson Mirage, Drake, Goldcat. First on chat from Paris410, he says he's glad that he found me on Twitch. His video, my videos on State of K were a huge help. I'm glad they were a help, good sir. And this is what we get for winning. It doesn't matter, though, because it's all going to get reset. Like, this is just a tutorial. Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. Yeah, I already know about tutorials. Now, while we're journeying, we do heal a little bit. We get a little bit of healing over. In fact, Audrey is actually back up to full health. That's pretty nice. That was just the tutorial, though. There are yet places okay. such as this. Okay, so the Where way the game works is gathers. you must go to the mountain. You don't have a choice. But in between the checkpoints of the different lands we travel to, the inn marks the checkpoints, and that's what this is right here, right? The inn. The inn allows us to do a bunch of stuff, and uh, it lets us heal. It lets us, you know, not be so sad, you know, reduce our stress. It gives us opportunities to try to make people like each other. There are merchants. There's all kinds of stuff. You know, we can modify our carriage, all kinds of stuff like that. But in this case, they are not going to let us do any of that because we have to... How do you abandon? There we go. Because this is the end of the tutorial. A lesson. So at the end of the game, whether you win or lose, it tallies up how well you did, and then you get candles. So we got five candles. The candles represent hope, and then we can spend the hope to unlock new stuff. Each milestone makes the next road just a little easier. Okay, so as I was saying, now we're going to be playing for real. That was just the tutorial. And now you guys get to choose. You guys get to... you. I will let 
two of you guys be heroes this time. One of the characters will be the chat character, and then I will choose a character as well. I'm gonna, I will be your fearless leader on the first run. All right, so the Altar of Hope is where we unlock more stuff. We're allowed to visit this in between runs, win or lose. And I believe for the first one, they forced me to buy some stuff here, if I remember right. I think they just want me to unlock, you know, just to demonstrate how it works. So what we're doing is unlocking items. Items that we can use in the, the next game. Once we unlock these, they are now permanently available. Mmm, leeches. Of madness. Excellent. So now that means all of those things we unlocked can now just be found as we explore. And I believe we also get one copy of them. I believe that's the other. The, I believe it also works where when we start our next game, we will also guaranteedly have one of each copy. But uh, there is a lot of stuff to unlock. The main thing I want are all the characters, though. All right, so this is where we choose which chapter. Your sanctum, adrift in this bituminous nightmare. We have a lot of choices, as you can see, though. So I have beaten chapter one before. This one has the brain boss in it. The shackles of denial must be destroyed. That said, just because I've done it once doesn't mean I can immediately do it twice. I remember our first meeting on the steps of the university. A collegial handshake. That would doom us both. Your insightful questions during my lectures gave me pause. And I recognized in you something of a kindred spirit. Despite our differences in age and position, we shared a keen fascination for archaeology, folklore, and, of course, occultism. The Crossroads. A place between places. Okay, so we already have a character request. Zen Master wants to be the Highwayman. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> You're not going to be called Dismas, though. You're going to be called Zenmas. Seeking to outpace the past. You're, 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 you're not going to get to use his original name. So, to you, Zen Master, I will be your fearless leader. Tried. More devastating than Foxmas. the of a hundred campaigns. All right. If somebody wants to claim a character, this is your opportunity. All you got to do is activate the chat ability. I'll give it like a minute or two. And uh, for all of the characters that are unclaimed, they will just become the chat characters. The people remaining are um, Plague Doctor, who is our healer supporter, very important character, and the Grave Robber, who is also pretty useful because she is fairly self-sufficient. Like, she's fairly good at um, not dying, which is as it turns out, is a pretty important feature in the game, not dying. You can take it from me there. I, I really like it when people don't die. Let me check to make sure the cooldowns are correct on the characters as well, because, like, that's that's one that, you know, people need to be able to spam that ability. Let me see here. Um, oh, my gosh. Let me change. Sort it by cost. Where is it? Sort by name? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Let me see. Let me make sure it has no cool. Yeah, it has no cooldown. Good, good. Make sure that, that works that way. Okay, I'll let you have it, Gold. I'll let you have it, Gold Kent. You're supposed to use the ability. Like, there, there, I'll, I'll demonstrate it for you. You just click this ability down here. Woo! Get the, you're supposed to activate that ability, but I'll, I'll let you have it, Gold Cat. Okay, so what did you want the character's name to be? You want his name to be Boyo? So you want his name to be Kirby? Kirby? 
Okay, that's fine. All right, so that means the final character is going to be Havers the chat character. Unseen into the catacombs chat of the mind. Not Chadry. It's going to be Chatry. Okay. That's going to be our, our team. Now, normally we'd be able to customize our abilities, but we're not very we're not very talented people right now, so we can't customize our abilities in the very beginning of the game. Also, yeah, that's fine. Okay, here's what I'm hoping. For our first run, I hope that we can e at least get to the brain. I, uh, I have no expectation of beating the brain, yes, but I hope we can at least get to it. Profound stagnation instead. So like I said, step one is to try and run everything over. You have the no faith in Zenith, do I? Welcomes you with open arms. Ever since the Fallout playthrough, I don't think any of us have faith in Zen Master. Is not immune to the spreading stain. All right, so this is always your warm-up fight. This is supposed to just like let you know what abilities you've got. You know, these are these are like the weakest enemies in the game. I don't know if they're literally the weakest enemies in the game. They're basically the weakest enemies in the game. So I'm just gonna throw a whole bunch of powers at them. I don't care about being all like strategic donk a donk with them. This guy's gonna die from poison or something. So let's start beating up the other guy. Counter attack. There, you got this. Oh, oh, he's sad. Uh oh, Zen Master is already. He's already feeling the pressure. That said, um, we do get a lot of mastery points for complete. I mean, we always get those. That's just like a guaranteed thing. Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. Ugh, there we go. Yep, it's gonna teach me a bunch of tutorials that I already know. Oh my god, Gold, Gold Cat is putting poop in Zen Master's food. All right, so there are yet places such as this. We're at the inn. Light still gathers. All right, so I will now explain for those who do not um, know. This is money. There is two kinds of money. There's gold money, and then there's purple money. Why is there gold and purple money? I, I, I don't know. They just thought that maybe it would, like, cause people to buy different things. The green one is um, how we increase our skill levels. And as you can see, remember, these are the items we unlocked. So, yeah, we get them. So we got the pot and still. This is great. Gold, Gold Cat's going to love this. What the pot and still does is there is a chance that we will make whiskey as we're, as we're journeying around. So this is an item that we can put onto the stagecoach. So let's just do that real fast. I'm just gonna put that on right now. Bam! Now we now we can make whiskey as we travel. I don't know about the quality of it. But the, uh, the quality I cannot say. Also, get get these tutorials out of my face. Spend what you can. For wealth no now, longer has meaning. Everyone is okay. If indeed, it ever did. You know, like everyone's at full health. Everyone is rested. What I need to do now is just briefly decide what, what I'm going to use. So these things are actually pretty neat. They're a trap. Uh, the main thing they do is slow the enemy down, and that's useful. I, I don't like it when the enemy goes before me. So I'm just going to give that... Oh, here. I'm gonna put it right here. That's a combat item. Combat items are neat because they don't use up your turn, so I can use these, I, these this weapon, and then I can attack as well. The downside to them is that they do have an ammunition count, so like they we will run out of them eventually. Um, over here we've got leeches. Wow, uh, leeches are for removing a disease. That would be a lot more useful if we had a disease. But right now our cargo capacity is five items out of twenty, so I, I think that's fine. Over here we've got a cape. The cape gives us a chance to. Um, to become stealthy, I guess. Uh, sure. You can wear it, question mark? Wearing it is good because it gets it out of our inventory. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody wants to buy anything, so I'm going to go ahead and start spending. Um, what is the most important ability? This one, question mark? 
Everyone gets at least one. I really like poison dart. Uh, what is your best ability? Duelist Advance? Probably. Duelist Advance is pretty good. And over here... Um... What is your best ability? Is it Eyeball Poo Poo? Eyeball Poo Poo is pretty okay. Maybe it's just doing more damage. Maybe it's just Noxious Blast. Let's just do let, let, Let's just have some offense going. All right, we get one last point. I'll, I'll let chat decide that. In the meantime, I'm going to go... Oh, man, we're going to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh! I hate this item. This item never works for me. So this is basically... We're going to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And everyone has a 75% chance to like each other more. Or a 25% chance to dislike each other more. And it never works for me. So here we go. Yu-Gi-Oh! That was okay. That was that was that was an acceptable result. I guess everybody here liked playing Yu-Gi-Oh. If all of that didn't make sense, don't worry. Once you see it a few times, it'll 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 make more sense when you, once we do it. What we're trying to do is to get people to like each other. Which is why I'm probably gonna buy whiskey. Whiskey makes people like each other more. Something to ease the rigors of the road. I'm also gonna buy some supplies like Ladonum. Laudon. La, 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 there we go. I'm gonna buy some of this glimmer of hope as well, because I we will need a glimmer of hope to, to, to get to the brain. Which we don't don't think we're gonna beat the brain, chat. Like if you think we're gonna beat the brain, you got something else coming. Um equip items. Every league a lesson. Uh you get to be the master of morale. Um you get to be the person who carries flames. Um Oh, oh, we, we got to stop this. Okay, so currently we have two characters who aren't fans of each other, so we're going to have some drinking going on here. You know, just to try to keep us in the positives. You know, like, it, it's very important that people don't dislike each other. Like, that's like a, that, that is a relevant thing in this game. Okay, AU Throw, thank you for the T1. God, 17 months. That is such a long time. Thank you so much, good sir. Um, okay, I'm going to pick another skill. I'm going to use Defender. All right. Do we need to buy anything else? I don't think so. I think we're good. All right. We're ready to go. The provinces and cantrips of our land. Okay. Crumbling. So we get two choices. We can either go to the Tangle or we can go to the Sprawl. I don't like the Sprawl. So we're probably going to go to the Tangle. Now they do tell you what you will get, but I don't care. What I care about is not dying. So we're going to go to the Tangle. At least for, for, at least for the first one, we're going to go to the Tangle. Let's do it. Truly barren. Now, this is the starting team. I at least know how to play the starting team. I'm, I, I'm not familiar with every character in the game. I am familiar with these characters, though, so that's good. Here's our goal. We need to get to the brain. If we get to the brain, it doesn't matter if we beat the brain. Just the fact that we got to them means we will accumulate a large quantity of candles on the way. War. So that's our goal. Rewards. The first thing it does is it tells us our path. The path is randomly simulated. And um, the way it works is we start here, and we are going to take these different pathways. And the pathways are going to, you know, like, for example, if we go here, there's no choice. We then have to go there. Now, on the other hand, if we made it here, it, it would branch into three different ways. So because it branches, you know, Got to be strategic, you know? 
Got to be strategic. So let's get started. We have a little bit of reconnaissance. Uh, I do not want to go to the lair. Like, not this early in the game. So instead... I think I like the idea of... Let's go on the left. Because these are a bunch of assistance encounters. These are going to give us, like, supplies and stuff. We, we're kind of okay, though. Like, I don't think we need even more supplies right off the bat. And I don't see any fights. Like, we do need to fight at least some people. So let's start going to the left. Right off the bat, we hit a... Uh, so now now we're playing for real. These are real fights. When you hit one of these blockades, most of the time you fight bandits. And that's exactly who these... Ah, oh, great. Critical hit right off the bat. Ha, it's like, welcome to Darkest Dungeon 2. So bandits are kind of quick, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the um, those little things that we had earlier to slow them down, make them a little easier to take out. Um... What are these? Let me briefly. This guy is a guy who just he just hits you. He's like hit it very hard. This guy's a real pain in the ass. Like I hate the dog. The dog is just there to be a nuisance. Uh, this guy is a shooter. And like he likes to blast people with his gun. He can do a lot of damage, so he is a bit of a problem. And then this one in the back is uh, likes to use fire element for damage. So I think I want to get rid of the fire mouth first. All of their hit points are fairly similar. The guy in the front is the healthiest with 18 health. But uh, I feel like we can handle the damage he does. Up here is the turn order. So Chatry and then Zenmus gets to go first. Then two of them get to go. But let's start like this. I believe... I, I kind of want to get rid of the mongrel. I really don't like the mongrel. We don't... Well... Five damage? Maybe I can pressure this one more? Oh, that's enough! That that wound up be that, that was that's actually a good one there. Uh bam! Goes down to the bleed damage there. That actually worked out really well. Okay, now it's their turn to do shenanigans. Um they have a decent bit of bleeding capability, so what I'm going to... Actually... This guy likes to do annoying things, so I kind of want to just poison this guy. I just want him to start dying, to be totally honest. Defense is up! So because I upgraded his defense ability, now he reduces the damage by an absolute ton. It's, it's going to be... It's, it's going to be great. It's amazing. Let's just poison everybody. Get, like, some poo-poo on everybody. Every Poo-poo for everybody. Including you. Everybody has poo-poo. He resists. I guess he's got hand sanitizer. That's fine, though. I think I actually want to keep Zenmus in the back. He goes down to the poison before he was able to do very much. That's right. Do your one damage. He's going to go down next turn, so let's start attacking this guy in the back. Wait, we're, we're going to handle these guys. This is going to work out pretty well. How much you got? You got four? Let me just throw a real knife at him. This guy is going to go down to poison, so it kind of doesn't matter what we do now. I'm just going to use some random abilities. I'm going to go ahead and heal somebody, I guess. Um, I go next, so let me go ahead and heal me so that I don't take the four damage here. Because it cures the uh, the bleeding. And then I get to go, I, I don't know. Like, boom! Oh, I guess I'll just kill him. That's fine. That's fine. Entrance. The reason we want to fight enemies is because we get loot. Um, the loot that you get on these ones isn't as good. I'm mainly looking for mastery points, though, because, like, improving your skills makes a really huge difference. On the road again! As usual, like I said, you want to smash into as many things as possible. That's really important. Here we go. The Roadmaster. Wow. All of these were assistance encounters, except for one of them. 
Okay, so we're pretty good on supplies right now. So what I want to do is just try to make some decisions. Oh, oh, great. Wonderful. So no matter what we choose, uh, no one is happy. No one is happy. So because of that, um, I'm probably going to choose one of the ones that causes at least... So this is the worst one. This one causes two people to hate Zen Master. Maybe I should choose it then because it's Zen Master. This one... This is probably the best one. This one gives me an accessory, actually. So this one, I have to pay 20 bucks or 12 bucks, but then I get some flame and I get an accessory. I'm going with this one. Ooh, minus two. Not that. I don't like it. So we got medical equipment. We get more traveling heal. That's actually pretty solid. It's actually not bad. It's actually not terrible. Oh, look at this. We chose correctly. Here comes a hero shrine. This is a chance, chat. If somebody wants to claim the hero shrine, they can. Otherwise, I'm going to decide. And that means it won't be Zen Master. So as we run things over, we have a chance to get little, little knickknacks. Hey, they add up over time. So this is one of the most important places in the game. Uh, the shrine allows you to remember the past, and by remembering the past, you unlock an ability that is sealed. And since nobody claimed an ability, I'm gonna claim an ability for this guy. Normally, I... what do you call it? Um, oh, okay, so it looks like Gold Cat wants to claim a memory. Uh, his character is... the Plague Doctor. So we'll do that. Plague Doctor. Chapter 1. The Good Student. Brilliant and bold, her unconventional theories created nothing short of a scandal in her fourth year. The mocking whispers and scornful glares of her peers and professors had an ironically invigorating effect upon her extracurricular experiments. The mysteries of the human body, of life and death itself, hovered just beyond her scalpel's reach. If only she could acquire a corpse of sufficient freshness. Okay, so now we get a new power. Let's see. We get emboldening vapors. I don't think I'm going to use that one, though. Also, we get a mastery point, which means we get to upgrade a skill. Um, everybody has several skills, and you always get the skills in the same order. So to get some of the better skills, sometimes you got to unlock a few memories. Sometimes it's, uh, sometimes the story is literally just that, like, you know, a retelling of their past. Other times it's actually a battle you have to win. Emboldening Vapors is not one of the skills that I would use too frequently. However, some of her later skills are pretty good. Ah, got it. All right, looks like we got another roadblock. It is low indeed to profit in destruction. And once again, the roadblocks are frequently bandits. I think they can also be zombies, though. But they're typically bandits. Um... So now that we have two of these guys, I'm a little worried about them starting to do their combo shenanigans. So what I might do in this case is focus on them instead of the shooter. Let's see if we can focus fire and like knock one of these guys out quickly. Okay, he's gonna be dead next turn, so I'm gonna let him live. Because, you know, we any further attacks on him aren't really necessary. Um, so he, this, what these guys like to do is apply this little skull on you. Skulls are a combo token, and basically it allows other enemies to activate, like, a super version, or, like, a they get, like, a more powerful effect. So what I'm going to do is uh, raise my defenses. That way, when he does try to combo me, it'll have to go through my defenses. So let's, like, let's just start the whole pooping shenanigans. Start pooping on people. 
So there, it would have done nine damage, but we cut it down to two. Same one, it would have done six, but we cut it down to two. Once again, just great, you know, like, who needs the heal if you can reduce the damage? So both of these guys are going to die to poison, so we don't need to mess with them. Instead, we're going to shoot this guy. Although, I don't really like his, like, <laughs> his gunshot is kind of mid. I think this, I think they're all dead. Yeah, they're all dead. That's fine with me. Smallest variable can make all the difference. Uh, I don't know. We're just going to use an ability because all of them are technically dead. Empowered. Emboldened. The fact that they were down a man makes it a lot easier. Also, In having the basic understanding of the game makes it a lot easier. So what we got here is money, and then purple. So there's gold money and purple money, and we did get an item. Um, 3% more critical hit, but 10% less healing? Hmm. Not sure what I think about that one. Not sure what I think about that. I, I do like healing, and 3% crit is like, okay. Maybe if I find a, uh, maybe if we have an ability with a high chance to critical hit, it would be good. So the Oasis is just a place to heal. Man, we're getting, they're, they're being pretty generous. Um, really? Wow. Nobody likes each other. Here we go. Let's just pick this one. So we're going to get a little bit of torch, and we're going to get a healing item. And they're not going to like each other. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. So we got mineral-rich spring water. Wow, that's actually not bad. Minus three threat, uh, minus three stress, and a 10% heal. You get three uses of it. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, so we're continuing down the path. Looks like we're going to take a little bit of damage to the cart here. So that happens based on what pathways you take. Uh, the cart can take a little bit of damage, but if it takes too much damage, we got to get out and repair it. And if we get out and repair it, then, well, that means we get ambushed. All right, so a cache, this is just free items. So we got 12 golden money, 12 purple money, and some healing supplies. Oh, an in item is pretty nice. That'll make people like... Ooh, these are pretty good items, actually. We got some pretty interesting... Oh, I'm liking... I like what we got here. Hold up. Let's equip some items. Let's get some items on. This one's pretty nice. This one allows me to sometimes armor myself up at the beginning of a turn, which is pretty useful. Um, we got some combat items, too. We have one to help with bleeding. Here we go. Equip. Might as well. That's yeah, fine. When deliberation is exhausted, okay, so now we get to choose again. Let's take a look at the map. Instincts. What is this tree? Ooh, hoo, 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 um, uh, let's go... Left? Question mark? Awaits. Be wary. The thing I'm gonna do is not go to... So, this is rough terrain, so we lost, uh, one... We, we took one damage to the wheel, one damage to the armor. That's okay, though, you know, like, we could take a little bit of damage. That's what the armor is for, after all. Oh, wow, what a guess. We got another Shrine of Reflection. So, this once again allows us to unlock a another power. I will give people a few seconds to activate it. Otherwise, I'm going to claim it for myself. <laughs> Just going to take a drink of Mountain Dew. Okay, nobody claimed it, so I'm taking it for myself because this character is good. Man at Arms, Chapter One: A Premature Promotion. The politics of a military career are perhaps as treacherous as war itself. Though untested in combat, his acumen for advancement was unmatched. Through a dubious campaign of influence and intimidation. 
He had at last claimed a coveted command, and was eager to bask in the glory of the victories that were sure to come. Okay, so we get Bellow. Bellow is a skill that has very specific uses. Um, it might actually be okay because it does remove the enemy's ability to counterattack, and there just so happens to be an enemy that is capable of counterattacking here. So I believe, because we are in the tangle, that I will equip Bellow's that skill. Whisper. Okay, so let's go to abilities. Now, you can only have five active at the same time. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So I got to drop one to gain one. And so I am probably going to drop um, Rampart because I, I'd rather have hold the line. And so this will allow me, in the event someone just so happens to have the ability to um, counterattack, which, like I said, there are enemies that are capable of doing that in in here. That could be handy. It's not the most overwhelming of skills, though, I will say that. It's not the most insane skill. Now, we didn't get a... We did, okay, so the loathing is picking up. This is like kind of a... You can think of this as like how haunted we are. If we get too haunted, it makes the enemies stronger. The way we reduce the haunted level is by attacking the enemy's strongholds. Which I believe that one will count as a stronghold. Scorpio Queen, welcome to the show. So we actually had a... This was a really easy run. Um, not It's not even my fault that it was easy either. It, we just chose very random paths and we just randomly got awesome paths. Um, I kind of want to take this one here because we get a free repair. So this one gives us... Ooh, we need torch though. Our torch is really low. I think we're okay with that. Let's do. Let's take third plus thirty torch and a wheel repair, and then people like each other more too. Awesome. That's perfect because uh, we we're about to lose the wheel because there's some rough terrain here. So that's a that's a perfectly good idea. So we've got an enemy stronghold coming up here. And I am going to hit the brakes before we get there. Okay, I need to equip some items. So this is, um, I believe this is always a battle with the cultists. And since it's always a battle with the cultists, the cultists, they don't play games. Uh, they, they play for keeps. So I need to make sure that we've got everything that is going to be useful for dealing with the cultists. And I think we do. I don't think, I don't think there's anything else that I could do to improve our capability against the cultists. So these, you could consider this like a sub-boss battle. Or like, just a very hard normal battle. But if we beat them, we'll reduce the haunted level, the loathing. Okay, so. New cultist enemies. We've got Patrick Star and um, the Bagpiper in the back. I hate both of these guys. Uh, the two in the front, these girls are attackers. Like, they're just going to beat the crap out of us. This guy likes to buff. Patrick Star likes to buff people. And the bagpiping guy, he's just... He, he just has to go. I absolutely hate this guy. So I am going to basically just start pummeling this guy in the back because he's got to go. He's not good. So let's just immediately... Can I use the gun? No. No, let's just start shooting this guy. I don't care. I don't care how much damage we're doing to them, they just need to go. These guys make me very sad, so like... Oh yeah, here we go. He's immediately... Oh, thank god we resisted. Oh, that's great. Here, let's start with this. Cunning. You may outwit them yet. Um... So we're just gonna slow them all... I'm just throwing everything we've got at them, because like, like I said, these guys are jerks. These guys suck. Um, this guy has to go immediately. All of our attacks have to go on the Herald. Good, we did poison him. I don't have any abilities that can hit the back rank. I might... 
I think what we're going to do is use the ounce of prevention. Ounce of prevention makes it harder for the enemy to hit us with their status effects, the specifically like poison, bleed, and burn. Uh, these guys do a lot of all of those things, so I think that this is a worthy. I, I think this is an okay move here. In crisis, we can rely okay. only upon each other. I, I don't have an attack that can reach this guy, so I'm just going to focus on increasing our defenses. Okay, Nocturne Commune, this is her buff. Basically, instead of attacking, she's going to do a critical hit next turn, which I could potentially... No, 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 I have to have that skill upgrade. I can't do anything there. Uh, let's continue chipping away at this guy. Six damage is nice. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Okay, so he's going to die to poison next turn. And what we're going to do is work on this guy now. So their defenses are up. That means it's a good opportunity to hit with an with an attack that doesn't do a lot of damage, but poisons them or burns them instead. So that that's pretty nice. So you know, like yes, he reduced the damage, but we kind of don't care that he reduced the damage because it wasn't that big of a deal to begin with. Um, I actually can reach the third rank here. I, I got a really long arm. Nobody needs healing, so I think I'm just gonna, like, let's just get them both poisoned so we can start chipping away at their, um... Like, basically, this attack doesn't do a lot of damage up front, so it's perfect for attacking them while they've got these defense counters active. And that'll start, like, you know, we'll just start bringing their health down. Big damage reduction there. Would have done nine damage, but we cut it down to, um... To two? So, our stress level is going up, but we, we do have ways to deal with that. We're going to continue attacking over here, though. He's going to do eight. Okay, he's dead next turn. He's just going to start buffing everybody. There, he's got a regeneration effect. Just, just what we wanted, right? Um, he's going to take six damage over here, so I'm just going to go ahead and bandage him up. That's why we're using the skills at the end of the day. We're also going to trade places. I, I, n now that the long-range enemies are no longer an issue, it is time to um, come into close combat. And by that, I mean you can see they switch places. Oh, I see. They are using a stealth ability. Interesting. So we'll just continue focusing our attack over here. Unfortunately, he resisted the poison. I would really like it if they would stop doing that. So, I am going to use this ability on myself. This reduces my stress by one. And then I'm going to use Bolster. Bolster is one of the skills that we upgraded. This is also going to reduce my stress by two. I have to pick a target in addition to that. And, you know, this part doesn't matter because no one else is stressed out enough. But, bam, here we go. So I, I basically sank three stress there, plus I do get one major defense charge here. Died of poison. Over here, uh, he still has a defense charge. So what I'm going to do is peck away at him with a poison dart, because that'll eat up his defense charge. And maybe we'll get a poison. Yeah, yep, we did get a poison through. Let's continue the pressure. Oh, man. Resisted the good poison, unfortunately. So now that we're in close combat over here, we can now switch to using our knife. Pretty solid hit there. Three damage is pretty good. Um, I could attack, but I don't trust it. Like, they, they both could attack me, so I'm just going to raise my defenses. Now, I, don't, I actually want Zen to get hit because he can counterattack, so instead I'm going to guard over here. Okay, didn't go through. Poison took him out. Nasty hit there from the cleave. In that case, um, the guard wouldn't have even helped. That's because these guys are jerks, though. Um going to keep attacking. 
I feel like the poison damage is good enough. I just want to get them out of here at the moment. Two damage, two we we can handle two damage. So I'm not gonna bother curing the poison. Instead, what I'm gonna do is just try to finish her off immediately. All right. So the way my bolster ability works is it reduces stress if people have at least five stress to begin with. And I have five stress, and so does the chat character, Chatry. So I'm going to use it on myself and her. So we're going to sink four stress in total, two off of each of us. And it worked. The poison took her out. So I would say that was that was pretty smooth. I think that went out pretty well. The spoils, an artifact of Get rid of these tutorials. Power. So for winning against the cultists, we get uh, one mastery point. That's good. We get 25 flame. Whenever you beat the cultists, you get some flame. Um, if the flame runs out completely, then you will get ambushed by cultists, which is how you would then refill the flame. Generally speaking, you wouldn't want that to happen, though. Um, we also get items. That's a good one. Wow, that's a great one. Greater sharpness charm, 20 damage, 20% 20 more damage. We get money, both the both gold money and purple money. And then we get a dark impulse. Um, dark impulse is used to enhance cultist items, but we don't have a cultist item. Like, a cultist item doesn't do anything without a dark impulse. So, I mean, if we get a cultist item, we could activate it with dark impulse, but we, don't, we just don't have one, so... Let's bring it home, boys. All right, so we were able to clear the tangle. That is good news. And we cleared it pretty cleanly, actually. Don't, don't get your hopes up, though, chant. Like, that doesn't mean that we're going to, like... That doesn't mean we're going to beat the brain on our first try. Ricebox and the Beard Logan, welcome to the show. The place okay. A little worse for wear. So this just tells you what's Familiar happening to your characters. Like, let, let's see what they get. Quirks. Quirks are usually bad. Like sometimes quirks are good. This one stinks. That one's bad. That one's bad. They're all bad. They all got bad quirks. This makes the characters worse. Yay for being bad. All right. So we did recover items. So the first thing we're gonna do is use this pipe weed. Pipeweed reduces the stress of two different characters, and it also makes them like each other more. So let's go ahead and use it on my character and the chat character. And because of um, the whiskey, remember that we got Gold Cat's whiskey machine, and the whiskey machine generated four whiskey, which is good because whiskey makes people like each other more. So let's go to the relationships tab here to see who dislikes who. It looks like everybody is at least okay with each other. That's good news. And what that means is let's try to get people moving in a positive direction. So what we're going to do is like push closer to 20. So I'm going to use two of them on um, the chat re character and two of them on Zen Master. Like that might be enough to push us into a better direction. Because basically, if characters like each other enough, they'll become like friends or something. And if the characters don't like each other, then they'll become enemies. But it's like a chance-based thing. So the next thing we can do is upgrade our skills. I, I will give chan a chance. You can claim a skill if you want. In the meantime, I'm going to see if we want to buy anything. Or wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed I'm going to buy these. Did. I definitely want those. Um, I'm probably going to buy some of these burn heals because we we do have no choice but to go into the um, the fire area next. Let's reload the Ladonums. So bleeding is less common, so I'm just going to go ahead and swap that out. We can reload this item. This item isn't bad, like these crow's feet. I I'm okay with using them. What else can we buy? 
Ooh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Something to eat. Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm, I'm gambling. I'm gambling it all on Yu-Gi-Oh. This could go terrible. This is either going to be really good. Three games of Yu-Gi-Oh will either be amazing or they're going to be awful. Here we go. Yeah, probably that was probably about 75-25. Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, that one didn't go as well. Yu-Gi-Oh! What? That was terrible! That was such a rip! That was terrible! That was awful! Okay, good news. Nobody hates each other after playing Yu-Gi-Oh! That was terrible. Exactly. That last one was awful. Like, someone was probably cheating. Okay, that's all the- wait, 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 I'm, I'm lying. We need to repair the vehicle. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you- So it costs, uh, purple money in order to repair, so let's just get that out of the way. Uh, I don't think we could put anything on the stagecoach. Like, the, the stagecoach, uh, we have to actually upgrade it before we can put more stuff on. So, like, I think I'm going to just leave it that way. It was Exodia. Gold Cat blames Zen. I blame Zen Master, too. Okay, so nobody claimed a mastery skill, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick something. Um... Where are we going next? Maybe I'll do Take Aim. Take Aim is not terrible. It also gives him a defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do Take Aim. A more conservative ability. It's like a slower ability. Um, blinding gas is not bad. I might go at blinding gas. And over here... If we're going to do Blinding Gas, then I should probably be going deeper into, um... So Blinding Gas has a chance to apply, um, the Skull Tokens. Which means I should probably go for Throne Dagger, because Throne Dagger gets a 50% chance that crit against a Skull Token. So let's try that out. Although Absinthe also would have been a really good choice. I might pick that up next time. Everywhere. In ruin. Does it still double stun the backline? Absolutely not. Need. Like, stun is very hard to get in this game. They greatly increased the difficulty of causing stun. That was a question from V for Vendetta. Oh, you can still stun burned. people, but now stuns All typically require a setup. Ash on the wind. In replacement for it stunning people, what it does now is um, it causes them to their turn order, get they get sent to the back of the turn order. Uh-oh. Is someone going to form a... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Mm. Let's see what abilities it affects. Here. How inconvenient. Two of the abilities I want to use. Of course, Zen Master and Gold Cat are having a problem. Yeah, so Darkest Dungeon 2 is like Darkest Dungeon 1, but it's also quite a bit different. And I would say that Darkest Dungeon 2 is not a replacement for Darkest Dungeon 1. It's a game that, like, you, you could play them at the same time because they are quite the different from each other. Cities of man. Ruined. And a flame. Okay, so this place can suck because there's a Super Saiyan enemy in this one. And, like, usually the Super Saiyan enemy is pretty dangerous. Our torch is kind of beat up, so I'm going to go to this assistance encounter over here so that we can refill the torch. As usual, though, pro tip is to steer and try to drive into as many objects as possible. If it looks like I'm drunk when I'm driving, look, we've got a whiskey still in the back. What are you expecting? So each area has thematic enemies. Some enemies are universal. Like, I'm pretty sure we can still run into bandits on the road, but, like... When we hit an enemy stronghold, there can be... Oh, here we go. Why do you all hate each other? We need flame. I don't care. We need flame. 
It doesn't matter. I need to refill the flame. I don't care if people don't like each other. You have to deal with it. Does hitting things damage the cart? If you hit the wrong things, yes. Like, this little icon means that the wheels will be damaged. Let's get another hero shirt story. Ooh, let's go left. Well, mmm. I kind of want to go left, because if we go left, we can then go to the watchtower. Or we could go right and not get haunted, but that could also be haunted as well. Let's go right. All right, this is how we unlock more abilities. Unlocking abilities is a good thing. Here's a roadblock. The worst kind of parasite. Opportunists. Okay, so once again, typically you bump into bandits on as roadblocks. Doesn't matter that the entire town is burning down. So as usual, these guys are pretty fast, so let's go ahead and use the crow's feet on them. Victory supposes strategy. Press this guy's enhanced. He's got a, um, he's, he's enhanced by the brain. He's got the biggest of brains. Um, let's go for the fire mouth, I think. The poison attack goes through. That is a stress attack. It's really not that big of a deal, though. In fact, I don't mind if he uses that one. Setting us on fire. A little bit of fire is okay. I can handle a little bit of flame. This is where I would love to use the poo-poo attack. But if I use the poo-poo attack, they will gain negative effects. So instead, um, I'll use the poo-poo attack anyways. Okay, so it worked. We did get a skull attack there, but unfortunately it's on a person who's about to die one way or the other. Kind of doesn't matter, I guess. Um, take aim. Take aim is a self buff. Uh, it makes him evasive, so he's harder to hit, and then he gets the critical hit twice, which is very cool. Raise the defenses. The Beard Logan says, I just got 17 months. How long has Twitch been running? I can't remember. I can't remember, actually. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not... One thing I will be the first to admit is I'm pretty bad with dates. I'm not good with dates. All right, so since I get to make a move here, I think I actually just want to... Critical hit against this dog, because he's annoying. Oh, man, that was a nasty attack right there. We actually denied his counterattack just by killing him outright. That's That was really sweet. Um, so because this guy is so close to being... I'm, I'm just going to... I'll just take him with the, uh, the, the throw. Okay, so... So when people die, they leave a corpse behind. Uh, the corpse does occupy a spot, which can be annoying. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. In this case, it's kind of annoying me because um, I can't actually do anything to bring this guy closer at the moment. So instead, we're just going to keep attacking this guy. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to cure... Um, I think I'm going to cure his... Uh, because we're taking a lot of damage from damage over time effects, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and get that out of the way. That's a miss. A big, fat miss. All right, because you actually have the ability to attack somebody in the back rank, I just want you to start working on this guy in the back. Front mortar heavily, damage was heavily reduced there, which is nice. We still get a second critical hit, so I'm gonna go, wait, six damage? Let's just, let's just get him out of here. A simple variable. So we canceled his attack there, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna return to the front rank because I like to be in the front rank.
Once again, like, that's a, just, like, peppers us with, like, a pretty irrelevant attack. I really don't care about that attack. Eight damage, they are dead next turn. Let me see if there's anything I can do to help us out here instead. Doesn't look like it. So they're dead next turn, doesn't matter what we do. Uh, maybe I could just finish them right here, though. Nope. Can't do anything, don't have any- I'm gonna yell at him angrily. Oh. Convenient. Gold Cat says he also sucks with dates. Yeah, I, I never know what time it is or what day it is. Sometimes I forget which month it is. You know, we're doing really good for our first run. It's like a, uh, I, I don't know, I guess they're just like, Welcome to Darkest Dungeon. Here, have an easier, have an easier one. So, we are unlocking a lot of abilities. That's really good. If you want to claim an ability, this is your chance. I will give you maybe a minute to decide if you want to do that. Otherwise, I'm claiming one for my character again, because... <laughs> you. Crimson Mirage Drake claims, claims one. So, if you do not have a character, then you can only claim it for the chat character, which in this case is Chatry. So, like, we'll claim one for the, what do you call it, we'll claim one for Algery. The only, the only people that are allowed to manipulate claim characters are either me or the people who claim them. But you, basically, that's why there is a generic chat character, which in this case is Algery. So we get to unlock one for Algery. Grave robber. Chapter one. Luxury's lap. Born into money and married into more, she spent her days on horseback and her evenings in the ballroom. She was the object of her husband's boorish lust and drunken temper, placating his worst tendencies with a veneer of gracious deference all the while indulging murderous fantasies of freedom and the fortune that would soon be hers. What a nice person. That they're perfect for each other. So we got the ability, the dead of night. That's actually not bad. Uh, you get to heal, you heal yourself and you remove a corpse. That is something I might, I might actually add that to the list. Could be useful. Okay, so I gotta give a skill up to gain a skill. Um, I'm probably gonna give up pick to the face, to be honest. Or maybe flashing daggers. Flashing daggers is like useful in very specific cases. And I think, um, I think I'll find more times to use pick to the face than flashing daggers. So that actually went pretty well. Okay, we got a lot of fights coming up. We've got a road battle, and then we've got a stronghold battle. Beating them in the stronghold will reduce our loathing, which once again, if, you're not, if you don't know what that means, it's basically like how haunted we are. All right, same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit them with this ability them, just to um, may finish the weaken work. their speed for the it, it's like the bleeding damage is not why I'm using it I'm using it to knock their speed down and I am gonna go ahead and begin with um, the fire mouth as usual because I, I just don't the fire mouth can do a lot of damage coming in with the dog attack okay um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do the eyeball poo poo even though that will cause Zen Master to get a negative effect. Oh, he resisted it. How nice. I am going to take aim. Okay, that was good. We resisted the skull effect. Setting us on fire. Okay, you know, it's not, not very nice. You could be a little nicer about it, but okay. Raise our defenses. That's a miss. The poo, the eyeball poo poo succeeded. All right, so I get two critical hits here. I am going to just obliterate this mongrel. A 
promising development. Like, this character is really good if you're patient with him. Can I just heal anytime I want? I can heal anytime I want, but do I want to heal anytime I want? I could do it later. You... I kind of want you just dead. You'll die next turn. That's fine. I can I can heal deeper into the battle when um when there's fewer enemies to be concerned with. Also, maybe I don't care that you're taking four damage a turn if you're just gonna heal yourself. Yeah, let's do this instead. Man, um, Gold Cat here just rubbing the poo poo in the wounds. Don't I get healing when I attack a skull target? I do, but it's not very much. So instead of attacking this guy and consuming the skull effect, I'm gonna let someone else do that. And he died to poison. All right, we gotta make sure that we get at least, okay, here we go. We're gonna use this ability to consume a grave. Robin some graves. I don't know why that heals her, don't, don't ask. Um. Don't you get a... Let's just do the map. We're going to go maximum damage here. Bravo. You're going to die to poison, and if I tap you with this, then you're, you're going to die to poison as well. So you're dead to poison. And then I just smash you with the mace and you're gone. There we go, there we go. In this world, wealth is worthless. So the, the road purpose. battles don't pay out as much. You know, the road battles are definitely more of a penalty battle. But we we got through that pretty cleanly, I will say. That said, we do have a stronghold battle. So this will be against faction enemies. I mean, not that the bandits aren't their own faction, but this should be against the fanatics, which are the burning people. The burning people kind of suck. I don't really like fighting them. Okay, here we go. The burning pile. So these are the fanatics. They are a bunch of guys who are on fire, and they're not very friendly. I don't like them very much. Maybe we can get people to not hate each other so much? Maybe? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Probably not. Ah, yeah, so they, they, they brought their Super Saiyan guy. This guy sucks. I hate fighting this guy. So the first thing we're gonna do is we've got a DPS down the pit fighter who he, he's gonna... If we, if we let him, he's gonna go through the whole Dragon Ball cycle of becoming Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3. He goes through the whole transformation processes so he has to die. Um, so he has a dodge token here. So I think I'm just gonna just, I just wanna get the dodge token off of him. Oh, good, we got it too. So not only did he fail to dodge, but our attack went through. Let's just get him. We just gotta get him. He has to go. He resisted that one on, oh, he's gonna, is he gonna power up? Nope, he's gonna sock him in the face. Defense is up. He's going to power up. No, he didn't power. Oh, thank God. He's, if he just uses his... He, he's not a big threat if he just uses his regular attacks. Oh, he's powering up. We've got to stop him. We've got to stop him. Mm. You didn't like that, did you? If you didn't, if you haven't guessed, these guys like to set you on fire. It's not, it's not very pleasant. I don't, I don't enjoy it. Let's keep going. Okay, there we go. Ten damage. That's, that's good enough. Um, poo poo attack on the back. Great, great effect there. Great effect. Love to see it. Okay, he's going down the death's door. That means that his next attacks do less damage. That's day. Don't do any damage. Don't do no damage. 
Ah, I tried to finish him off, but he survived. But then he went down to the poison. Get your super saiyan ass off my battlefield. The poo poo attack worked. He couldn't see with the doo doo in his eyes. What is he doing? He's buffing his guys up. Yeah, these guys use like the power of like friendship or something. Let's go ahead and I'm just gonna clear this corpse for a selfie and I'm gonna bring him closer to me. And now I do have another critical hit, so I am just going. Who has lower health? Fifteen. Eh, I don't want to. I don't want to risk a critical hit missing here. So I'm just going to go ahead on the immolatist. Twelve damage there. Very nice. Nasty hit. Um. He used up his attack this turn, so I think I'm just going to. I'm gonna. No. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Okay, he gets to move. And then it spins our characters around, I guess. I'm gonna reduce our stress. Oh, I get to remove vulnerable with this? Oh, that's right. How convenient. I should probably read what the abilities do instead of assume I just have them memorized. Okay, I am going to, um, he's gonna die to poison. I'm just gonna, you know, we just need to burn up his dodge. Okay, good. Like, the, he didn't dodge. Okay, nice. A steady subtraction, an invariable result. Yep, yeah, more fire attacks. Six, up to six damage. Don't, I don't love to see it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that. Extinguished at last. Um, I don't think we need to aim anymore. I think we just need to beat the crap out of this guy. So I'm gonna do exactly that. Without aiming, though, our damage is a little bit less impressive. Doesn't matter, though. We cleared him. Hey, that was pretty good. That was not half bad. Like, those fights can go a lot worse. Can go a lot worse, let me tell you. So, um, like I said, so when you actually beat a stronghold battle, you get way better rewards. So we got 12 money, 8 purple money, and then another mastery point. For how good we're doing, though, it's not going to matter when we get to the brain. If we get to the brain, there's still a possibility we don't even get the brain. But we're doing good enough that we're going to carry a lot of good items home. Or we're going to get a lot of unlocks. That's what matters. A lot of unlocks. Also, where are we going? No! Looks like we get to choose. The academic study. Okay, so this gives us a high risk opportunity. Okay, so we can get money. I don't know what the book is. Books. What is books? Trinket? I don't know what books are, so let's get the books? Question mark? Where's my book? A simple choice. At least it should be. Um. I don't want to get haunted anymore. Like we're, we're towards the end of the run, so I kind of don't want to get haunted. Uh, how much money do we have? 38. That's enough to scrub a negative penalty. What's our torch at? 71? Okay, let's go to the hospital. We can go to the hospital and scrub one of our negative penalties. I forget how much it costs, though. A little bit of wheel damage. We can handle that for now, though. Unless, unless I'm totally wrong and there's just like a ton of wheel damage coming up. That would stink. Okay, so here's the hospital. The hospital lets us either heal, uh, lets us buy, um, just lets, lets us do, like, you know, healing things. What I want to do, though, is probably scrub a negative effect. Um, this one doesn't matter. Wait, what is the other one? Don't care. Looking for one that's, like, annoying. Um... If bleeding gets stressed, book burner, blah, 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 sickly. 
Okay, honestly, our negative effects aren't the worst. Surprisingly. So maybe we don't need anything. Let me let me see what items they have for sale. We've got salves. I think like we're kind of doing okay on salves though. We have cure alls. We're doing okay on ladonums. These are items for Lurk. Lurk. I'm gonna buy one of these. Because we're going to be fighting a large Comics, quantity of, um, I'm going to buy two of these, actually. The science of hope. And the reason I'm going to do that is because uh, if we make it to the next area, there's going to be a lot of bleeding damage. Okay. The loathing whisper. Full inventory. Okay, let me see if there's anything we can equip. The answer Analysis is mostly is no. Until it becomes an excuse for an action. All right, so now we get to decide what direction we're going to go in. So if we go left, we do have the ability to cross over back to the far left side if we want to. This is the final battle area. Um, if we go right, we're kind of just trapped on this pathway. Um... Maybe that's not that big of a deal, though. Maybe. We don't have a lot of money. So, like, we're not really going to be able to buy much from the store. So why don't we just stay in the middle? I think the middle will give us more flexibility. We will take one armor damage here. There's our armor damage. Running over as many things as we can. Oh, wow, it's Oblivion's Ingress. I did not know one of these would be here. Okay, this is a cultist battle. I guess... I kind of want to do this one because they don't like each other. Maybe we can reverse that. All right, we're going to... We have to fight. We don't have the option to not fight. No one is giving us a retreat option. So we're just going to take this. Hopefully this isn't a bad idea. Hopefully we did not make a mistake going this way. Cultist battles can always go bad. Two bagpipers. Wow. And they've got an enemy ambush. Amazing. Wow. That's not good. That is the opposite of good. That is Doog. This could be an extra. This is probably going to be a very painful battle. And he resisted. Not not a good start. Not a good start. Let's begin with take aim. That doesn't matter. The reason that doesn't matter is because my first ability is going to be uh, hold the front. So instead, I'm just going to make an attack here. Okay, let's hope that the bagpiping doesn't start owning us. Oh, beautiful. I love, I love, did I ever mention I love bagpipes? Okay, now we're going to hold the line. Hold the line allows me to move forward. It doesn't do a lot of damage, though, so I'm just going to throw it at this defense charge just to knock it off of them. And then it's going to move my character to the front like that. Mmm, yes. Yummy. Thank you. Clarion Call. That's not bad. I would much rather him use Clarion Call than, um, than his flamethrower. You need to retreat. I really wish you would retreat. Actually, because my character has Immobile, I can actually activate this ability without being forced forward because I don't want to move forward. Also, I think I think I'm just going to start using my I think I'm going to start using my heals right now. Let's use them ahead of time. Let's just you start using them ahead of time. Okay, that was good. I get a counterattack at least. 
All right. I skipped a turn to reform our ranks. Uh, that actually, our ranks are relevant. Like, our ranks are not, like, just for show. Now the problem is, there's a lot of abilities I would like to use here. But unfortunately, um, I need to consider not what I want to use, but what I need to use. So you go very soon. Can I take six damage? Is it okay to take six damage to throw poo-poo in people's eyes? I feel like the answer is yes. I think the answer is yes. I think it's okay to put poo-poo in people's eyes. Because that's what I really want to do. Okay. That should push him to the end of the stack. So not, not the worst result. Next thing I want to do is raise my defenses, question mark. Yes. Yes. If I attack here, I get a little bit of a heal, but that's not that impressive. Yeah, let's raise our defenses. That's fine. He did not miss, unfortunately, so we're all going to get... Ooh, that's a lot of damage. We've got to stop him. We're going to have to use... Um, that's seven, nine damage per turn right there. Oh, thank God we go first here. That is so good. So they are taking a turn. Uh, they're going to take a foot, their foot off the gas here, which I'm totally fine with. Next turn is going to be really nasty, though, because they're going to get their guaranteed crits. Intended to. Oh, yes, more bagpiping. Counterattack knocks him out. Eight damage per turn over here. That is less enjoyable. I'd like to point that out. That is not as enjoyable. Um, I think the answer here, though, is to maybe get lucky and knock this person out now. Maybe. I think that's the play. Okay. Okay. Can we knock you out before you get to use your critical hits? Yes. 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 Okay. Oh, more bagpiping. My favorite. What would I do without bagpiping? In the meantime, let's bring our defenses back up. Oh, good. More bagpiping. Excellent. Bagpiping, if you weren't aware, does a lot of damage. I This guy needs to go. Excellent. He's got to die. I hate this guy. He's got to go. He has to die. Um... I guess I don't have any moves here. I'm just going to throw this at him. We missed... That's fine. Barely any damage there. Let's start, like, using more of these burn heals. I think that's a good idea. So you are going to have to self-heal regardless. Like, you're going to go to Death's Door regardless. We can always survive Death's Door, though, so that's not the worst thing. Let's go ahead and self-heal. I'm going to use it on myself because it, it, it's not going to be enough to cut, stop her from going to Death's Door. So I am just going to... Peg this guy with a bullet because his health is pretty low. That should be enough for him to die next turn. Okay, we're going to use this on ourselves. That'll cure all of that and it'll bring us out of death's door. Let's take the self heal here. Ooh, critical heal. That was really good, actually. I am going to go ahead. I want my critical hits. All right. Oh, you're going to get mad about it. I see. So sometimes when you make decisions that other people don't agree with, it makes other people mad. So, you know, screw you, I guess. Let's go ahead and just make this attack then. Yeah, that's fine. We'll burn we'll burn her defense counter. 
her defense charge. I am going to bolster to reduce our stress, and I will gain another block charge. So we've regained control of the situation. A breakthrough. Ah, uh, you're in really good shape. Like, her self-healing is very impressive. Okay. Like I thought, that was going to be a very painful battle, mainly due to the double bagpiping guys and the fact that they shuffled our uh, they shuffled our positions. So we do get a lot for beating them, though. That's that's the good news. You do you do get a, you do get stuff for beating them. We got ten flame. We did need flame. Another mastery point. I'll it, it, that'll be great. We do need to try to avoid a little bit of fighting so we can get our health back. We did get another Dark Impulse. Um, that could actually be good. Not, maybe. Could be good. Okay, let's see if we can add some items. The Loathing abates. And we've completely removed the Loathing, which is like our Haunted level. So honestly, like, it, it could be big. I'm going to equip this on my character, since my character is the most likely to get dead. Um, you? I kind of want you to have anti-bleeding. And in the back, you get to use this and probably this. That's a good idea. Let's look at our, our disposable items. Let's go and equip one of... Whoa, what about these? We need that. This. Also, this gets some items out of our inventory, which is great. Let's look at the map. We need to navigate somewhere that doesn't involve so much fighting. That would be great. Uh, unfortunately, we have no reconnaissance on the area, so I have no idea which way doesn't involve fighting. Um... Well, we know this way at least involves one fight. And we don't know... Ooh, if we go this way, we will get an ambush. We'll take minus one armor, and then another minus one armor. So, basically, this way or this... The, these are the two ways we should take, is what it means. We don't know, but forward it is. We've Onwards! Forth at the mercy of the road. And it's oh my god. Dangerous. Oh man, good, good. We're gonna take one haunting, but we did a good job of pushing the, the haunting back. Birth. So that is honestly not the worst. That is not the worst. Okay, so we got the des desperate few, the an assistance encounter. Wait, did, is everyone just gonna get mad about this? We we we're gonna take this one because we need flame. Unexpected find. Oh, whiskey. Nice. Okay, that brings the flame up to 79 out of 100. That's fine with me. Let's find out. Oh, wonderful. It takes us to another Oblivion's Ingress. I love this game. That's... That's... Just great. We is this you, Coach Limping. Be prudent. I sure hope this is not another rough terrain. I sure hope that isn't rough terrain. Emptiness. Yay! It's Oblivion's I Ingress. Awesome. Into the world. Oh, we can't we can't choose to not fight here. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that's that's what I'm talking about. That that's what it's all about. Okay. All right. Um Here we go. Oh, this is a much better fight. Oh, this is so much better. Oh, this is much better. This is a lot better. This is their this is their main source of damage right here. So I'm just gonna beat the crap out of their only source of damage. These guys here aren't that big of a deal. I mean, they're not. I'm not happy about them, but they're not that big a deal.
we'll play patiently. Also, it does clear his inaccuracy. Honestly, if the chat, if chat Dory gets hurt, she has so many ways to heal herself that it kind of doesn't matter. I kind of don't care, to be totally honest. I'm going to go ahead and buff myself. And I'm just going to start getting this poo-poo on her. Look at that, 10 damage per turn already. Do we just continue pressuring this one down? Oh no, she's got um, if, uh, she's got a stealth charge. That's interesting. I guess let's just go after this guy? Question mark. Stupendous. Great damage, but it was reduced by his armor, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and um, reduce our stress level and gain one defense. They're going to try to chip away at my defense layers. Horror. Annoying, but you know. Not the end of the world. Barely going to do any damage here. Um... What if I just use the poo poo attack? Actually, 10 damage, 4 damage. Let's go right over here. There we go. So he's going to be out next turn. He's out. Get out of here. Off of my battlefield, please. Um, I'm just going to consume this to bring them closer. I still can't attack some of these guys. Wait, I forgot about this ability. I could use this to remove their evasion. I forgot all about that. Okay, making everybody sad, annoying, but not particularly deadly. This is our chance to, oh, wait, we might miss though. I don't think that matters. Three, nah, let's go for this. Nah, 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 we're, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine. Big poison damage there. I think my defenses are solid still, so I'm just gonna pressure this cherub. Interesting, she's gonna buff herself. We still can't, oh, okay, never mind. She used up her stealth charge there. That's good to know. Let's go ahead and I just want to knock her into death's door. Actually, six, eight. Poison will knock him out next turn. There we go. There we go. See, the problem here is they've got a lot of support characters, but they don't have a lot of way to project damage. That's the main thing they got going on right now. Um, I might use a... Mm, I kind of want to save the mineral water. The poison? The poison. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is so much easier than what it could have been. Let's just use some of our healing up. Like I, I can't attack him over there. Like he, he's kind of he's pretty safe where he currently is, so it doesn't matter. Let's start working on our um, on our stress issues. And we're going to strip off of his, um, I mean, I should just shoot him. If I just shoot him, e either way, it's going to do the same thing. So I'll just take a shot at him. Oh, my God, we got through both of them. I hit despite being inaccurate, and I hit despite him dodging. That's good. That, that, that must feel bad. Bring him closer. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal. Why not? This is almost like a recovery round, just because, like I said, the, the, the enemy really just does not have a lot of offense to throw. We are taking some stress, there's no doubt about that, but honestly, 
if I need to, I can start slamming a bunch of anti-stress abilities there. Like, if I need to, I can just start really slamming our anti-stress abilities in the next round. So that honestly, that honestly wasn't that bad. It was like the opposite of XCOM, says Crimson Mirage. Yeah, we, that was very fortunate. It's an armor. Oh my god. Okay, thank god it's not a um, wheel damage. Our protection has been stripped to its last. Okay, so we have no wheels, we have no armor, it's fine. As long as that one is not wheels or armor, it's fine. Alrighty, here we go again. God, we are just fighting the cultists this round. And they brought a big dude with them. Okay, um... Big dude. Big dude, big dude, big dude. Um... How do we want to handle the big dude? He's got 49 health. So, without a doubt, one thing we definitely do is ignore the evangelist. The evangelist we can definitely ignore. I think we do go for the big dude. I think we I think we I think we talk I think we focus fire the big dude even with the buff guy here. It's not too bad. Okay, let's start pressuring the big dude. Damn, that's a lot of healing, though. Plus six. He resisted it, unfortunately. Um, I do think it's worth it to blind the big dude. If he misses an attack, that's basically like two of their people missing an attack. Let's also start, you know, I am going to start using some of my de-stress abilities here. What's his first move going to be? Sundering Steel? Flesh to Bone? That's not the worst attack. Big hit there. That is a nasty bleed attack. Oh, that's right. I took two there. I took two there. That was the issue. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use another Ladonum. Like I said, I, I'm, not, I'm not afraid to dig into our heels a little bit there. Or into our res restoration items. Same with this right here. I'm going to go and use that. Blood Commune. I still have a defense charge. Weight of Worlds. That's his big stress attack. He actually forces us to not move around. That's actually totally fine. I, I don't plan to move around very much. I'm not sure if I want to... I feel like attacking is more valuable. Like, yes, my character... It, it is... the my, my character's purpose is to get hit. And right now, I think I really want to focus on increasing... I want this guy to die faster. He's now taking 10 damage per turn. That's good. Fortunately, most of our damage is not in the form of direct attacks. I am going to go ahead and use some of our water here. Um... I think I will. I'm going to continue taking aim. This is the long. This is going to be a long fight, so I think take aim is still really good. He's going to worship because he's a pain in my dick. We're going to do the poo poo attack again because, like I said, if we can dodge an attack or two, then that's fine. Although the worship does suck. I, I, we, we, I think we still have to focus. It's like, it's hard to tell. It's honestly hard to tell. I'm never sure if I want to tackle the other guy or not. We could. This guy doesn't have that much health. We could do this. Like, it wouldn't take that much effort to get rid of him.
Let's get our defenses back up. I'm a little worried about- oh yeah, he's- they're healing the crap out of him. Maybe, maybe I'm just gonna focus on taking them out. That was a good call. Wow, we just knocked 28 damage down to 7. That was insane. Okay, let's just knock- let's focus on knocking this guy out. Oh, he's got a really nasty, um, evasion token here. That really sucks. I'm not going to take that. 75% is so high. So I'm just going to strip his... Um... Let's go for... The critical hit here. We get a 50% chance on it. There we go. Annoying, but we're not done. Who goes next? Okay, you go next. That's fine. There is comfort in company. That would be more of a problem if not for the fact that we get to go next. The path of exaltation need not be a lonely one. The problem is that he's in the back rank. We're not good at attacking the back rank. Like the back rank is the weakness of our setup. Okay, that's an overheal, so that's perfectly fine. They've got such fantastic buffs right now. That's 75% chance to dodge right there. Let's go with the water here. And I believe... I can't tracking shot the front rank, can I? Okay, I guess we just have to attack here. Unfortunately, we're going to use up one of our defense charges, or one of our crit charges here. Yep, and that was a miss. Kind of the predicted outcome, though. We don't have to use this right now. Okay, fortunately, he once again, he's not using his deadliest of attacks. Like, that, that, what's nice is that he's not hitting me with, like, Sundering Steel, for example. Let's keep our defenses up. Like, right now, I'm basically holding the line here. Okay, I ate up her defense charges. Poo poo attack, I think. Yeah, poo poo attack, I think, is the move here. It will burn up his defense charge or his t his dodge charge, and it's just like uh, like I said, I r we've got to catch a miss on him. If we can catch a miss on him, that would be excellent. He did dodge it. That's not the worst though. There's sundering steel. God, we reduced it by so much there. Blood bond. Pretty nasty hit there. We are not quite in death's door. We are next. We are this turn, though. Hopefully, you get to go before the other one. Let's go ahead and reduce our stress. A small reprieve from this carousel of horror. We're only allowed to heal a certain number of times per per battle. That's where these items are coming into play, though. All right, I do have my crits here, so I'm going to take my crit here. What are you doing? Eight? Eight? So you're going to go to death's door one way or the other. So I think instead I'm going to take the heal. Because I don't think I can force her into death's door this turn. Why didn't I get the heal from that? I don't know why I didn't get the heal from that. That's our last heal. Death's door reduces her... Okay, that's kind of an overkill, but he does get exaltation. A little... What, what are you going to do? Way to worlds? Okay, I can, t I can reduce 10 damage. Why is it so much? Um, 
we just have to trust that they're gonna die from poison damage. We need to get some attacks on this guy. Sundering steel. I think, I don't think, I don't think he has so much health that I don't think, well, actually, this attack might be worth it. Uh, he has the ability, well, there's a 75% chance to dodge. I'm just going to have to trust that the poison knocks this character out. We're going to go for the, um... I, I am going to go for the, uh, the, the, uh, inaccuracy token here. We didn't get it. We did get that, though. Okay, I survived. How many I got, if I could survive one more turn, that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. I'm going to continue de-stressing, though. An interminable conflict. Okay, here we go. Big hit. Stroke. We just got to get this guy out of here. He does get a death's door, I'd like to point out. Like, death's door is something that he gets. I'm about to say, why don't, why don't I get the self-heal? Actually, I forgot. I get that as well. Oh my god, I could not believe I... I, I I cannot complain about my bad luck. That's all this means. I, I am no longer allowed to complain about my bad luck. I actually survived both of the bleed ticks. I survived three of them! Yeah, that means we can't we can't complain about our bad luck. It, it's like it's done. I think I just go for maximum damage here. I, I just want to get him in the death's door. Five. Does anything do at least five? Okay, this most of the time this does five damage. Okay, there we go. Let's just tap him out. We just gotta tap, tap him out. Okay. Solutions. So, like, we got away with murder on that one. We survived three death door attacks. Well, maybe we didn't get away with murder now that I think about it. I did equip an item that improves our death door survivability. Let me double check. Yeah, I do have the greater gilded mine. It's only 15%, though. It's only 15%. So we got, like, very fortunate, but like I said, after taking the pathway we did, like, we, we had we had no way that the pathway that we were going to take was going to have an Oblivion's Ingress into an Oblivion's Ingress, and then, you know, into the final battle right there. This one could still be a... Okay, good, it's not. I was like, I don't know, it could be, it could be a... Like, it could have been something bad. Okay, so the next one is the mountain. There is no way we can beat the brain. Like, we don't have any OP items. We don't have any OP abilities unlocked. We would come here in summers of years gone. Let's see what we unlocked. Wow, a whole bunch of negative um, traits. Of course, why not? Why wouldn't you? And we got a greater hail drought. More health? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so we get healing, we get restoration. All of that is good news. Uh, let's see what items I can equip. Sure, just let's just throw some items on. Here we go. Heat resistance is good. What do you do? More health, more damage, less health. Yeah, this is fine. It's fine. I'm giving him heat resistance in the back because we're probably going to have to deal with more bagpiping bastards. Okay, you guys get bleeding resistance. Let's see how we're doing on relationships. Actually, let's do that last. Let's see what they got for sale. 
Sometimes it is wiser to try anew, fortified by trials past. Before I buy anything, let's see what everything is for sale. Um, stitching kits. Those are actually pretty good. We got Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I want to heal. That's the first thing we need to do. Let's buy some stitching kits. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Gonna need a little more than that. Gonna need a little more than that. Buying them one at a time so that we don't, like, overspend. That's good enough, good enough. Um, we are going to need... We've got 14 bucks remaining. Ladonum would be good. So would burn heals, bleed heals. All of those would be nice. We've got 52 of these. What do these do? That's not bad, actually. So, uh, this item on our... This no longer serves a purpose because uh, where we're going, there is going to be no... This, that's actually pretty good right there. Uh, where we're going, there is no more opportunity to use whiskey, so we don't need to do that anymore. I don't think we need to repair either, because I don't I don't think there's any rough terrain on the way to the mountain. The means of mastery. We could. I, I can't remember if there's. I don't. I don't know if the coach can get damaged, because uh, like the next one is the mountain. The inevitable end of your journey. I, I don't you. think that. I don't Once think again. that the coach can get damaged on the way. Does anyone know that or not? Because like if there's if you can't get damaged on the way there, I'm not going to buy it. Okay, I'm. Pr I am going to buy the ladonums. Like stress is always an issue. Uh, poison is not an issue. The brain does poison, but I, I'm not worried about beating the brain. Like, where there's no way, we're not going to beat the brain. Brain is not going to get beat. I'll take one. The question is, I think I'm going to take... Okay, I'm going to buy one of these. Trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. You can use this because uh, this will give her um, blight piercing. This means that she's more likely to get her poison attacks through, which I'm uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. Now we we I can't do anything else with this, so let, let's go ahead and just repair it up. A smoother ride. We'll 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 see that. We'll time see. at least one of each. Here's our last chance to upgrade a skill. 50% heal and minus one stress. That is that is a lot. I definitely want this one. I believe I am going to get... Stun the target when they're like that. Our long range... Our, our back rank damage is our weakness. So I can either make our forward rank damage stronger, which is our strong suit, or I can try to patch up the weakness that we have that we're not very good against the back rank. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm okay with that. Because this will take pistol shot will now be equal in strength to wicked slice. I think it's fine, that's fine with that. What about you? I think a 5% more healing is, uh, I'll take it. I think it's, I'll take it. What else do I use over here? I'll take this too. All amounts of healing. I will take all amounts of healing. Wait, do we still have more skills? I was about to say no. I don't have any more points left. Okay. Ooh, we can drink whiskey. Equip. Whip. Um, you know, they, they they can blind us, so that that actually could play a role. They do have a they do have the ability to blind us. Let's drink a bunch of whiskey. Let's see if we can dig some people out. 
Okay, relationship status. I'm gonna spend... I, I, can we, oh, he won't drink it because he's res, <laughs> you think you're so smart, do you? Let's do a little bit on everybody. One, two, let's see how we're looking. 17, 17, 15, um... That, that, that person won't drink, of course. Let's try to get something going on over here. Maybe. Get them to like each other. M maybe we can get one positive. Really, that would be pretty cool. I'd really like that. Is anyone? Does anyone have a disease? No one has a disease, so the leeches were totally useless. Okay, that's it. That's the best we can do for preparations. We don't have no money. We don't have no points. We got nothing. So off we go. All right, so this is like, like I said, this is basically a suicide mission. Uh, if we can even get to the brain, that would be impressive because we got to do two Oblivion's ingresses to get there. Uh-oh. That's right, the chat loves my character. That's right. Never die. Was there any doubt? Man, the chat is like big pimpin'. For those who don't understand, Audrey is the generic chat character. So let's see what this does. Wow, that is like mega de-stressor. That is a lot of de-stressing that goes on there. What do you do? You... What, what do you- I don't understand. What what bonus effect do you give? You give me 10% healing? Uh, yes. 10% healing? Lots of healing. Wow. 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 That may- that might get us to the brain. It won't beat the brain. Because the brain's gonna beat the brakes off of us, but we can at least get to them. At last, the great ziggurat. Temple of failure and regret. We gotta take out these little, like, snow, snow mounds. Okay, so, there's no map here, that's fine. Who needs a map? Like, if we can get to the brain, that's as good as it gets. I'd be getting this far is good enough. But if we can get to the brain, that would be amazing. And then the brain is going to blast us back to the start of the game. The infinite emptiness. All right, here we go. Oblivion's ingress. That's a pretty good bonus there. He gets a, he gets a, a, a offense charge and he gets a speed charge. I'll take it. Like in metal says, "Chat's a freak, freak." Okay. Well, I learned my lesson from last time, so we're just going to beat the crap out of his buddies first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just get them buffs going. Why not? Let's just get them going. Sure, why not? Why not? Um... You don't really do you do it again? Uh, he's just going to heal, so it doesn't matter if I do that. I'm just going to buff everybody's... I'm just going to go ahead and... I know what to do. I will get rid of his... I'll, I will get rid of his um, evasion thing. Oh, oh, there you go. Who has lower health? 17 and 20. Hmm. Let's go for him. Nah. Hmm. <sighs> Let's go for the buff bot. We're gonna be- we're gonna play patiently. We're gonna take aim. Ah, uh, raise our defenses? Yes, good idea. Okay. Sundering Steel, get it out of my face! Ooh, I get to go first. Here we go. Big hit coming in. Oh, baby! A promising development. 
Um. Oh yeah, I get to heal from doing this. That's right. What do I get from this? I get to heal from this. That's all I care about. Look at this heal. A free heal. That's what I'm talking about. Um. I guess I'll ounce of do. Yes, some of them do do status effects. That's In true. Crisis. We can rely only on Ow. each other. That time he got through my defenses. What a jerk. Um, let's just sink some of our sink some of our uh, stress there. He's gonna worship. When he worships, he gets a special ability. He gets one of these things, which I don't like. I, I wish he didn't get those things. Oh, I get a I get a free heal here. Give give me my four health. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, he's dead next turn. That means I don't need to do that anymore. I missed. Oh, of course. Weight of worlds. That's not the worst attack. I, I, that doesn't bother me too much. It is mainly a stress attack. Excellent work. I mean, it's not that I like being stressed out or anything, but, you know, it, it's not... I can deal with it, is what I'm saying. I think I can deal with it. Okay, you get de-stressed from grabbing graves, right? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Now we can just attack this guy. His turn. Sundering Steel. Could not get through my defenses, though. So it looks like it eats up all my defense charges. That seems to be what its effect is. Take aim. And now we can actually use this ability. I think I might use one of these, too. There we go. Let's keep letting them have it. Big nasty hit there. I love love to see it. You love to see it. Um, what does this do? I want to do this. I don't care. I want my free heal. I get a free plus four heal. I'm taking it. Um, hit you. How much health do you have? Five? Does this do five damage? It could do five damage. It won't do five damage. I see I've got a... Um, it's going to raise my defenses again. How about that, you jerk? That's right. Now you get... Oh, only two damage? What a weenie. Our stress is kind of exactly where it started. We are so. the flame. Burning brightly for all the world to see. Like, it's not good to start with this much stress. I don't know if there is another Oblivion's Ingress. I guess we'll find out. That's an interesting looking box. It was just there for terrain, though. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's no more Oblivion's Ingresses, so that is not good. The nightmare Gate is revealed. That's not good. Beyond. That means we're going to start the brain fight with seven stress. That means we are dead. Well, we were dead either way, but we're mega super extra dead. Oh, yeah, here we go. Pity the great denier. Chained by its own Denial of fortitude. That means no healing, I think. Yeah, no healing. All right, so I don't remember the correct order to kill these jerks in. Let's go for him, though. Each of them have 55 health. Paralyzing fear. Oh, good. It didn't actually do that. It wasn't... I'm going to go ahead, like... This is a very long fight, so we're going to go ahead and use that. Plus, I might dodge an attack. That'd be great. I'm going to poop in their eyes. I would really like it if it successfully... Okay, pooped in one of their eyes. Paralyzing fear. Okay, we resisted the stun. Cerebral falter. Oh, oh, look at that. It already paid off. Okay, I, I need to reduce my stress. Yep, yep. Um, this is probably not... I'm going to do this. 
This is gonna clear her vulnerable. Vulnerable means you take more damage. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I really would like more defenses, but I don't really get a choice in the matter. Crippling doubt, okay. Kinda wish the turn order was a little different, but you know. Denial of reach, no ranged attacks? Yeah, no ranged attacks. Who needs to attack like this? Big hit, big hit. I'm just gonna drink some alcohol. Yeah, I could do drink alcohol later. We could drink alcohol later. Let's just keep attacking. Whoa, that's a big hit right there. Wow, um, that's. I mean, I know it looks pretty good right now, but just wait till the brain gets going. Just wait. Just wait. And I'm stunned, so I skip my turn. You know who who needs the you, you, who needs turns? Yep. Now the brain is gonna get going. The brain loves to get going. Um, I'm gonna use this because I can. Who's gonna stop me? Glimmer of hope. There we go. Um, I kind of don't want to. Do I want to heal right now? I guess I'll heal right now. Crippling doubt. Reason. What is reason? No stress healing. Wow. Good thing none of us are very stressed out. Ooh, we might knock him out of here. Latch of regret. Get out. No, we missed. No. 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 Uh-oh. Oh, we got the latch of regret. I'm gonna use this because we got it's gonna clear our inaccuracy. It's just gonna it's gonna do a bunch of good things. Maybe we get lucky and dodge an attack again. I can't believe we got one of them on our first try. Oh no, overwhelming anguish. He's like, eat that fat ten there. She actually has a lot of ways to heal, so I kinda don't care. Crippling doubt. Oh yes. There we go. Um Oh, you want the def- oh, oh, you're gonna get mad if I defend- I don't care. How about that? What if I don't care? He's hurt. Yeah, I need to- I need to, like, protect him. Denial of fortitude. What does this one do? No healing. Who needs the heal? He healing is for people that think they're going to live. Huh. Idiot. Let's go for the- uh, the- the- uh, him? Here we go. Oh, I'm gonna get a free heal. Oh, I can't heal. That's right. What an asshole. Mmm, that cerebral falter. Mmm. Crippling death. We can't heal this turn, so why even bother? Let's just keep attacking. That's what you get. Ten damage per turn. Damn. Our luck ran out, but we got three death blows resisted at a time, so we can't complain about that. It wouldn't be afraid. It wouldn't be fair to complain about not surviving a death's door when we survived three in a row last time. No ranged attacks. Who needs it? Who needs it? We're actually doing really good. Surprisingly. Stupendous. Look at that damage. He's actually dead next turn. Darkness encroaches. Inexorable. Oh, he survived. Better luck next time, asswipe. You already don't have health. And our friendship doesn't matter. Idiot. You're dead. <laughs> what a loser. Invariable result. I'm going to keep trying to protect, um... Yeah, we're going to keep trying. What are you going to do? Denial of reason. What is reason? No healing items. No strep. <laughs> what do you think? We're a bunch of... We, what do you think? We suck or something? You think we need that? You think I need that to live? Who... who you have no blight resistance? Yeah, let's go for you. I guess we just start attacking. What does this do? Nothing important. Just start attacking. 
That's how you beat a brain. You just start attacking. What are you going to do? Use, like, strategy or something? Look at that. I just blocked all of that then. Here we go. Maybe I'll just use this ability and... and do something. How about that? Denial of fortitude. I don't need to heal. Healing is for people who, who think they're not going to die. That, that's as good as it gets right now. Like, that's the best we're going to do for damage. Here we go. There we go. Eight damage per... How do you like that? Paraly you're, you're attacking the person who's good at healing themselves? What an idiot. I'm just going to get rid of... How about that? Nope, I'm going to intercept it, and I'm going to reduce the damage by, by, by a big number. Let's just keep attacking. That's, that's what I'm all about, continuously attacking. We're doing 12 damage per turn. He's dead next turn. Perhaps they have given their last. Damn, I was hoping they would survive that. Death comes. For the rich and poor alike. Um, okay, you need to take one more damage. Yeah, let's just... Wait, wait, I got it. Here we go. He should He should have, he should have, like, blocked my healing, but he couldn't. Okay. That's right. Now you can't do it. You can't attack him. How about that? That's right. And your other guy is dead this turn. Oh, and you attack the grave like an idiot. I probably should sink my um my stress. That's probably a good idea. Okay. Keep attacking. He's dead next turn. Okay, so I guess there's no more healing for the rest of the game because he always gets to deny. But you get to do, like, barely any damage per turn. Well, he does get to incinerate me with his, like, a crazy attack. Well, I might as well charge in the battle. Like, why not? What's the harm? Attack! Kill him! He's got a lot of health to go through, but... Fight through the fatigue. Why can't you counter at that? You should be able to counter that. Here, go into the front rank. Why not? Get into that front rank. That's right. Barely any damage. But then he's got all the damage over time effects and stuff. So you know, you know, it's not—it's not a perfect strategy. It's not—it's not a perfect strategy. I can't believe we're down to one lock on our first game. This is like a master stroke. All all it means is that like this is our this was our best chance. Oh my god, I'm still alive. Do I survive the DOT? I don't survive the DOT. Well, you know what? I've got two dodge charges. Let's see what you've got. I've got two dodge charges. Exhaustion takes hold. And you've got You you got to kill me this turn. You attack the wrong target. What an idiot. Uh oh. Oh my god. Time to falter. At last, the world's mind is free to remember a time before the cancerous corruption. That wasn't supposed to happen. We weren't supposed to beat the brain on our first Success. run. So long pursued is rewarded only with creeping revelation. That was not supposed to happen. Like we we were not supposed to beat the brain on our first try. That is remarkably unexpected. Remarkably, profoundly unexpected.
That was it not was supposed to happen. The cipher, scribbled hastily in the decaying margins. This was a brand new profile. I deleted my progress. Scribbled in blood. Whether by providence or happenstance, we stumbled upon the mark of some strange power invoked the world over. Reflected in cultures predating mankind itself. A semicircle radiating five points of power. A symbol hidden deep in the iconography of every ancient empire. The Iron Crown. Enigmatic and ubiquitous. You must remember the world as it was. Look, this is the if proof right here. I have, like, nothing unlocked. The only things I've unlocked are literally one of each of these. Like, because this is a br literally a brand new profile. This is literally a brand new profile. Where, where do I unlock characters? The more they have to hold on to, the harder they will fight. Where do I get... Look at this. I don't have any of the characters unlocked. I, I, I was just like... Bleh. Was even that? It took me like what, like seven times to beat the brain the first time I play. I, I don't know. It just gets so. It was like, what it means is I can no longer complain about bad luck for the rest of my experience in this game because that was luck beyond luck. Let's unlock all the characters. How do you, how do you how do you just push it down? You just... Hellion, run away. I want to hear him say it. It's like Mortal Kombat. Chester. Leper. Occultist. Vestal. Flagellant. Bounty Hunter. There, we've unlocked all the characters, and I got to hear him say all the names, like, in, like, a really, like, ominous-sounding voice. First time chat from Ren Dishes. It's so nice. Yeah, I, I... That was a total fluke. I'm not... I, I don't even want to take credit credit for that victory. Like, I'm not going... People are going to think I'm good These at this game. Are invested with no I want to upgrade the... The first thing we're going to do is upgrade this to the max, because, um... Because this makes us, like, this is how we get more inventory and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do first. So before anyone thinks I'm actually good at this game, I'm just going to say that I got super fortunate. Sanctuary. As fleeting as a dying star. All right, this is a new round. Get ready, folks. You guys can claim some more characters. And now you can choose any character that you want. If you want to choose a character, just activate the chat ability. It is... That ability right down here, this little like hour little timer looking thing, and you can claim a character. Okay, so I've never gotten to chapter two before because back when I first played Darkest Dungeon 2, there was no chapter two. So this is all new to me from here on forward. So left unsurfaced, grievances gain a terrible strength. That's crazy. I had no idea. I was really fortunate. Your vociferous calls to bring our findings before the faculty were dangerously premature. Given the gaps in our understanding, doing so would risk ridicule, or worse, robbery. I took no pleasure in asserting my seniority. Stifling your protestations with a strict mandate of absolute secrecy. You acquiesced, but your plaintive susurrations betrayed a burgeoning resentment. Interesting. So it seems like the resentment the is between our Lantern's character and night. our mentor. And welcome what help may come. All right, so we got somebody claiming a character. It looks like Lycan Metal is... Looks like Ugly Gang Returns. Um, I'll tell you a secret. I even don't know how to use the leper. How about that? I have no idea how to play the leper, especially in Darkest Dungeon 2. But congratulations, Lycan the leper. I'll give you guys maybe a minute to decide if you want to claim 
anybody else. You can claim up to three characters, the fourth character being the chat character. Yeah, I, all I know about the, um, the leper is that he's a tank type character, which is good, question mark. I think that's a good thing. That's all I know about him, though. So the only characters I've ever used are the Plague Doctor, the Grave Robber, the Highwayman, the Man at Arms. That's the character I have the most familiarity with. Um, I have used the Hellion well, back when the game first came out. I have used the Runaway. I don't know anything about the Jester other than what I know from Darkest Dungeon 1, or the Leper, or the Occultist, or the Vestal. And I know a little bit, just 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 a bare scratch about the flagellant. Okay, so it looks like Chad has picked their characters. I'm gonna fill the rest out. Um I'm gonna go with Plague Doctor. Indiscriminate science stains the surgeon's hands. Flagellin? Zalutri. An undying blight upon the soul. Vestal? Question mark? A sister of battle. Repudiated, but unbowed. By having um, by having the Vestal as a healer, we are able to use the Plague Doctor a little more for offense. Uh, Ricebox is claiming a character. Okie dokes. So, Ricebox, the Flagellant, welcome. Okay, so these are going to be the chat characters. So this is going to be Chadia. got to use the claim ability nanobot like we, we got to train people how to like we got to teach people to use the abilities so that like it's uh, that they got to you got to activate the ability okay oh you okay i know i saw it i saw it uh nanobot the jester okay jester ooh this is a tough choice uh, I don't want to. I don't want to use too many characters. I don't know how to play. A murderous melody lingers. Long after okay. The final so I'm gonna choose been... the Plague Doctor instead of the Vestal because I I want at least one character that I know how to play. So all right, these are our characters: Lycan Metal, the Leper, Rice Box, the Flagellant, uh, Nanobot, the Jester. And then this is going to be the chat character. So this is the chat's character, Chat of Celsus, the Plague Doctor. Here we go. In we go. So this is probably going to be a really messy run because I don't know these characters really well, and I also the don't know Chapter Two. To travel, but you are not alone. The point of no return welcomes you with open arms. Run over as many things as we can. You see, even your valley is not on This is a crazy team. I mean, it's relatively thing. balanced, I will say. We got a tank. We've got a tank. We got a fighter. We got a, uh, a DPS supporter and then a healer supporter. So, you know, it's not it's not the worst. I've seen worse. Um, okay, from what I know in Darkest Dungeon 1, this guy has a lot of abilities that move him around. Uh, Slice Off, that's the one from Darkest Dungeon 1. The enemy weakens and wanes. What do you do? You get an attack, you give yourself inaccuracy, okay, that makes sense. Clear corpses, okay, good to know. You've got a taunt ability. And you have a self-heal. Interesting. Okay, well, let's do this one first. This is this gives us taunt and armor. That seems really good. So that means they're forced to attack him, and he's got a lot of armor. So that's actually really nice. OK, 
Okay, that's enough to knock out this ghoul. Like, three plus four. And over here, we've got... Um, so I have used this character a little bit, so I know he's got this attack. So the in this game, the Flagellant does not do bleeding damage. He actually does Blight damage. Or they can resist it. How's it going, Nanobot? That's enough. He's dead. Um, I don't know, like... This is like a self... Well, let's just use our main attack here. And we missed. Which is not surprising. You know, missing is... Okay, we do have the ability to play the music. Oh, minus two. That's pretty good. Okay, so this is a melee that moves us around. I see. I mean, this this could work. I mean, it, only two mastery points? Really? That doesn't seem very nice. Only two mastery points? To the end. I got five Rest in the previous chapter. Await you. Well, I guess it gets harder as we go. You think the leper could be even better? I don't know. You have to. Some of the man at arms' main abilities are Lower insane. Your guard. Soften your gaze. It is safe I'm not going to say what she looks like. I'm just going to leave it to the imagination. <laughs> um. Okay. Mastery points. I'll, I'll, I'll let I'll let the chat have a chance to pick. It. Um. Okay. So we didn't get any. Wait. We didn't even get a. We didn't even get a cash. We didn't even get a supply cash? Okay, maybe we did. Precious what do you sell? Remind us of a time before the end. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Starting the game with the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, that, was, that, that wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Not bad, not bad. Um, we need, we don't have any stagecoach items, so let's go buy a stagecoach item. Oh, God, we're broke. If we only have 20 purple money. I can't buy any. Oh, man. Well. Well. What are our options? Every oh. Road of winding torment. Ooh, I kind of want to do Every this one. On Get another mastery point. Okay, so let's go. Let's first, step one is to spend our money. We need this for the torch. That's good. We're gonna need ladonums. We're gonna need. Do these guys do plague damage or do they do? Let's get the whiskeys going. A bit of comfort. All right, we need we need people to, to like each other. People need to like each other. Ooh, I don't like how this is going in the wrong direction. Let's use that to patch this up. This is going in the wrong direction. Let's get him back to normal. Spend some money to get him back to normal. Okay, you can carry this. Um, you can carry this. We've got a little more money to spend. Bleed resistance, but fire resistance. Um... I feel like bleeding is going to happen more commonly. So let's go ahead and take that. I'll give it to him. I don't think that the um, I don't think that the plague guys are capable of g causing fire damage. So you know maybe that's not too big a deal. All right, let's choose these. That seems really good. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Let's take that, and then over here, let's take this. This is our de-stress ability so let's just pick some defensive get ones to keep us in the game at least that seems like a good idea I, I've never been the chapter 2 so I have no idea ah uh, let's go ahead and just buy some poison cures here you can be the poison guy alright off we go into the, the photo fields of our kingdom Overrun with putrescence and rot. 
So the Fodor does not appear in Chapter 1, so it's actually been a long time since we've been to the Fodor. If you don't know what Fodor means in English, or not English, in, um, if you've never heard of that word, it basically means the stink. I actually had to, I didn't know that one. I actually had to look that one up. How's it going, Evie? You missed your chance to be a hero, unfortunately. The rancid crop grows unchecked and abhorrent. Okay, let's just hit the fork in the road and then we'll see. Are there no hot babe characters? There is maybe, like, the hottest character wears a lot of clothing. So, like, you only know that she's hot because you get to see her in past memories. I want caches, I think. I think I'm going to go for the caches here. Here we go. All right, we got a roadblock here. Let's see what we're dealing with. The reason I want the caches is because we don't have a um, we don't have an item for our for our carriage. All right, let's poop on them. I think the poop attack is the way to go here. Good, we pooped in both of their eyes. Oh yeah, there's the hellion. I forgot about the hellion. Um, so this guy does not have too much of an ability for um back rank attacks initially. I kind of just want to go for this dog because the dog doesn't have a lot of health, although he does have the evasion. Okay, so he does dodge it. That's not a big deal, though. It's just the beginning of things. Let's do... Where's Slice Off? Slice Off. So it, currently, it seems like our, our team has a little bit of a vulnerability against the back rank. Which I guess is not super surprising, but... Oh, look. The poop attack succeeded. Let's taunt. I'm surprised we resisted the fire attack there, considering we did equip an item that reduces our, our fire resistance. That should be enough. Not quite enough. We need one more damage on her. But he's going to protect her. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I'm just going to eat the counter attack. Ooh. Oh, my God. Big hits on both characters there. Let's go for the heal. A back rank attack, not too big a deal. Like that attack does some stress damage, but it's not it's not very much. I don't really care if they're gonna do that. Um I know our odds of hitting are super bad, which is exactly why I'm gonna do it against the person who has a dodge counter. Because that clears our inaccuracy counter and it clears his dodge counter. The dog is scoring a lot of critical hits, which is getting on my nerves. Looks like his stun went through, unfortunately. It's a shootout. Everyone's scoring crits. Okay, you're dead next turn. You're dead next turn. Okay, I mean, that's all pretty good news. I mean, I'll take it. I no problem with it. It's all good to me. No one needs to be healed. Uh, I guess I'll just do this. The poo poo attack goes through. Dead to poison. I don't really have any good moves here, unfortunately. Uh, I'm just going to attack one of these. Once again, that's our problem. We don't have a good ability to attack the back rank, unfortunately. Uh, Fester, doesn't this a hit? Yeah, it hits nearby end. Here we go. That removes one corpse and poisons him. I mean, I guess that's a move. Lots of wasted turns here, unfortunately. Um, I might just... 
I'll just cure, like, my fire off of myself, I guess. That's a miss. I'm going to clear the remaining bodies. Oh, I can't do it? I can only do it in the front rank? Of course. Oh, well. It is a little frustrating, our inability to strike the back rank. Like, I do predict that to be a problem. However, I do know that if we can unlock an ability for the, um, the flagellant, he does get a back rank attack. So it should be a temporary problem. Fester. Stack some more poison on him. Pretend that we can actually hit somebody. Oh! We can hit. An unexpected find. Yeah, a little bit of money and an item. I can't remember if these guys do bleeding damage more or if they do um, hero goal complete. That's good. Works for me, works for me. So this is going to get us a cache. We want the caches right now because... I left this for you. Perhaps you left it. We for want it because we, we don't have an, uh, an accessory for Perhaps our carriage. Not here at all. Oh, and look, we got one. Now we can't equip it immediately, but later on we can. That's really good. It's actually really good. I'm glad glad to get good treasure. I'll take it. All right, so this cleaver is definitely going to go on um, Rice Box because it gives you the ability to ignore some of their disease or their, their blight resistance, which is really important for them. Um, smoke bombs would be kind of useful, actually. Let's load that up a little further. Smoke bombs. Blight. I, don't, I don't know how important Blight Resistance is right now. Looks like we got another road battle coming up. Pretty smooth for our first area so far. Oh, this is a road battle? Get out of here. What kind of a road battle is this? Enemy weakens Let's just wins. knock these fools out of here. This is it right here, I think. Crimson says that's a free fight. That That is a free fight. I, I'm surprised. I mean, that's free money. We, are the flame. we got a free flame mastery point out of that. That's amazing. That That is a deal right there. Like, kill two ghouls for a mastery point? What's next? Ooh, nice. There is a there's a shrine up ahead. There's a shrine up ahead. Karma abhors waste. Best to take all you can. All right, let's see what we get here. Healing received from skills. Um, produce a contraption. Interesting. Uh, in item, po poison resistance. Also interesting. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can equip some of this stuff. Lots and lots of supplies. Lots of supplies, boys. This one we're going to put on um, Lycan Metal so that he's easier to heal. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, so rough terrain here. We're going to lose one durability on our wheels, but, you know, I think we can handle that. We can handle it. Alrighty, here it is. I'll give people a chance to claim a skill, and after that, then I'll pick. Everybody needs skills. Everybody needs skills. I'm gonna drink a Mountain Dew while you guys decide. I'm not gonna wait too long, though, so...
All right, time's up, folks. I'm going to pick. I want a back rank attack, so I'm going to be going for um, the flagellant. I don't know if he gets it on this one, but... Flagellant. Chapter 1. Baptism. He was a listless shade of the city, indifferent to his penury. With his skeletal build and bleeding gums, he looked an easy target for a pair of drunks seeking an outlet for their frustrations. The blows rained down, a tooth cracked, and a feverish crimson eclipsed his vision. In pain, there was power. He rose above his panting assailants and reveling in the marks of their sin, or gave them their trespasses. Right, right, right. You you go for it, Flagellan. Yes, good. It's his first ability. I remember that. I've played a little bit of the Flagellan, and so now we have Acid Rain. So this is a back rank attack. Thank God. It's good. We really need a back rank attack. Okay, first thing we're going to do is immediately... Uh, we got to pick one to get rid of one. Let me see. Um, we need Punish. Might get rid of Fester, although I do like the ability to remove corpses. Um, This lets us manipulate stress. It lets us move our stress around. I don't know how important that is, though. I think I, I, I don't think I want to mess with that. I'm, I'm not ready to manipulate the stress that much right now, so I think that's fine. Okay, so more treasure up ahead. Let me see. Ooh, there's a memory to the left. Let's go left. See, even if we lose, as long as we're unlocking memories, then our characters are getting stronger. So, like, it, it's like... Oh, we're going left. Arf chose Arf redeemed the left path. Twisted by hopelessness. Um, okay. Zombie battle. This is a more advanced one. We would like to get rid of this guy as soon as possible. He's very fragile, so that's the good news. In fact, um, he's going to die before he gets to use his ability. That's excellent news. Love to see it. So let's go ahead and um, work on the Widow next. She is a, a person who focuses on increasing your stress level. Let's taunt. Um, let's just, instead of using the Acid Rain, let's just focus fire on the Widow. That's a nasty hit right there. Wow, the Widow's done. Let us hope to finish this quickly. So they have no choice but to attack Lycan Metal when his taunt is active, though they, they, they did get through those charges, but that's perfectly fine. He's gone due to the bleed effect. I left this guy here so that we can use Slice Off on him so that, you know, he has an attack that he could use. So this ability does have a cooldown. We can't just use it as much as we want, but... Maybe we can just blast one of these guys. Is that enough? It is enough. That's the end of him. Get him out of here. Is that enough? That's enough. Get him out of here. Nice and clean. That's the way I like it. In crisis, no gain. Got a little bit of money. Two gold money, two purple money. And we got some more treasure coming up. Let's see what we get. We are getting a lot of gear right now. Like, we are going to be filling up on gear. What does this do? Stun resistance. That could be useful. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, we are loading up on gear right now. Okay, we're going to get a haunting level here. 
which means we do need to think about knocking out some of these strongholds. Not this one, though. This is a lair. Um, I don't think I'm going to go try to complete a lair. I might do one fight of it, though. I don't think I'm going to go fight to the end, though. Doesn't seem like a good idea. So the lair is like there, kind of like the regional headquarters. Now, you always have to fight at least one fight. There's three fights, and the third fight is the regional boss, which I don't the think we're going to fight the regional manner. boss. Do you hear the child's cries? Um, so, I have not fought the Plague Eaters since the game originally came out. What I do remember about these guys, though, is that they are meant as a buffer, so we need to knock these guys out. Ooh, that was lucky. These guys are very resistant to plague damage, so that's very fortunate. So as you can see, she's going to eat them. She's going to get some healing. I'm not attacking her right now, though, so I kind of don't care. Um... That does four per turn. Do I care about that? I, might, I don't know if I care about that right now. They have to use ounce of prote prevention here. Headbutt. It does successfully push us back. Maybe that doesn't matter, though. I'm going to go ahead and taunt. That is one of Lycan Metal's primary objectives, is just to, like, stop them from being jerks. He does resist the pushback this time. Going to continue eating. Okay, I guess that rearranges us right back to where we were. Sure, sure. I mean, let's, let's go for it, I guess. I can't believe we're getting away with some of these attacks. All right, so here is where our de-stress is going to come into play. Big, big hit there. A promising development. They're dead either way, so I'm just going to go for the poo-poo attack here. And it goes through. Maybe we'll get lucky and catch a miss on one of their attacks. That would be nice. That's a miss. Um, I don't have any other moves right now, so I guess I'm just going to... Guess we're just going to do that. I'm going to bring him a little closer. Don't want him to get too close because uh, this is slice off range. Uh, do I have a way to clear? Yes, I do. So that clears my the token that causes me to miss a lot. Lots of overtime effects going on over here. Shuffling us up a bit. Big hit coming in. Um Yeah, let's just let's just go for it. That's the end of them. So Crimson wants to fight it out. Okay, we can fight it out. All right, so this is what we won. This is what we get in the next battle though. Like, I don't feel too bad about two battles. Okay, this time they brought one of their big dudes. I can't believe we're getting away with these blight attacks. Like, I, I'm genuinely impressed by that. We're going to tank up and force them onto us. Same thing, we would like to get rid of these guys. These guys are their support guys, so I kind of want to get rid of them sooner rather than later. Let's go for the poo-poo attack. Good, it does go through. Go 
great job tanking the hits there. See, he is eating these guys up. Get some healing. We're not going for him, though. He's not our attack. A little bit of everything there. Would Acid Rain be good here? Um, it depends on how lucky we get on some of these effects. I'm going to go and blind this guy. I, I think he's like, I think it's worth it here. The thing is, they're very resistant to poison, is the thing. See, there's a resist there. Like, that's not too surprising, though. Like I said, these guys are very resistant to, um... To poison. So it's kind of... It's, it's pretty impressive that we are actually getting some of these hits through. So he buffed that guy. That's fine, because this guy's dead next turn. It's really not that big of a deal. He is just making every one of his poison attacks are just getting through. Like, it's actually cool. surprising. Okay, I guess we'll just... I didn't have any other attacks there, which is why I did that. Um, I want to bring him closer. And I want to bring him closer because if I remember right, he's not very good fighting up close. Unfortunately, that does mess up our ranks a little bit, which is kind of annoying. Um, I can use Battle Ballad, though, because, like, this causes him to move forward, if I remember right. There we go. That fixes our ranks up. All right, that brings them all the way to the front. We might as well use our heals because I'm pretty sure we get them back in between rounds. Yeah, I get I get a full accuracy hit here. Nice. There we go. I'm going to use the Jester to try to fix our... What do you call it? Um, to try to fix our ranks again. Because, like... He keeps, like, shuffling us around. Okay, good. We resisted that one. Times. Savor it. Malaise. That is a nice hit. Wow. And steady. I, I'm so surprised that we're scoring some of these hits. Just using up all my healing charges here. Clear our uh, blind token. Slice off. That takes him to death's door. This might get him. Okay, so Crimson Mirage Drake wants to fight it out, and nobody canceled it, so that means we're going to fight it out, which means we're probably dead. Because I've never fought this guy before, so we are probably dead. Who knows? Maybe he's not that hard. Here. Pity those with a place at the table. Okay, let's see what we got here. So we've got a fetid meat. A putrid meat, and then we've got the harvest child. So the, um, I guess the first thing we're going to do is blind. Because that just seems seems like we should go all out here. I don't know what the correct strategy is. I don't know if we should be trying to kill those. So let's start out focusing on the boss. I'm going to do Acid Rain here. He does resist it. He's got a lot of Blight resistance, which is an issue. I'm going to go ahead and use Ounce of a Prevention to improve our odds of mouth-watering aroma. Okay, I guess that... I don't know what that does. That's a miss. That's great news for us. Okay, he is coming closer to us. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. With Stan... Okay, perfect timing to block a critical hit. 
So he's getting closer to us. I, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't have an opinion on him getting closer or not. I didn't want to fall that far into the back ring. That was the wrong move. But I still like critical hits. That's good. Uh, let's keep attacking, I guess. He's got 110 health. What does this do? Feed the hunger. The hunger overwhelms all reason. So did that make him skip a turn? Well, actually, this isn't terrible. In this position, I am allowed to attack with incision. Of course, I did have a loss of accuracy there. So he gets to go. Maws of... Oh, my God. That's his move from um, Darkest Dungeon 1. So is this guy supposed to be like the flesh revisited lots of things going up we'll advance so he's for so this is forcing us to skip turns basically So is this used to basically like, oh, it kind of acts as extended hit points, possibly? I'll take the heal here. Steady yourself. His his offense isn't that bad. Incremental. But losing a bunch of turns is really annoying. relief from caustic agony okay that's gonna mess with our ranks as well because I'm pretty sure they're gonna come forward let's keep eating the same meat because like eventually we'll kill it I'm not sure if the correct idea here is to destroy the meat first or not it might be. I, it, it's kind of unclear to me. I can't do anything except attack here, so I'm just going... That's my only move. That is not his worst attack. Like, like, I mean, we are doing good resisting the poison attacks. If we were getting a lot of poison attacks, that would be a lot more annoying. Thus far, we've been okay at it, though. He does have a lot of health to go through, though. That's 73 health. That's a lot of health. A small foundation of trust. Right now, I don't even have the, much of an ability to attack just because we're losing so many turns. Like, every one of these is causing us to lose a turn. Okay, so when he's in the front rank, that is bad. That is, that is a nasty attack right there. Uh, we are we do have a self heal which is nice we resisted the death's door hit another death's door hit not that I can do anything because we are out of heals Well, you should have voted to cancel, Ricebox. Like I told you, we should not have taken this fight. So, like, you de definitely should have voted to cancel. <sighs> Trying to just score what attacks I can. Honestly, I think I just want to try to rush the boss down. Um, I can at least get some kind of a heal in. Nine damage per turn. That's pretty good. Oh my god, still alive somehow. An interminable conflict. Nope, the meat got him. At last, 
The thing is finally passed on. I'm just gonna go. I am just going to continuously attack the boss over and over again until I, like it's like all or nothing on the boss right now. That's the strategy. Well, you can blame Crimson for it. Like, if you died, blame Crimson. Like, this was not a good fight. Also, blame yourselves because you did not vote cancel. Like, you have the cancel ability. Like, you can cancel a bad decision every ten minutes. I'm just gonna go for- well... I'll go for the heal here. That was a smart move by the uh, by the AI there. That was a good move. Like they could have attacked the front row. I actually think we will beat them. He's running out of health, but I don't think we're going to be able to beat the the Oblivion's ingress. And now, the greatest test of all. Resist? They get three attacks in a row, though. And he still gets through it. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, nope, now he got, didn't get through it. Okay, even though we don't have any accuracy, it just doesn't matter. Well, maybe... It we have to attack. Unsurprisingly, we didn't miss... But, or that we missed, but I thought our DOT effect was going to last longer. That's why I put the that's why I put the cancel ability in there, chat. The, the cancel ability is in there to cancel bad, bad decisions. You got to use the abilities, chat. Like, you got to use the abilities, chat. Especially because those were your characters. Like, those were your characters. Souls are lost forever in this lightless obscurity. Um, let's keep going on here. I want to get These this character. Um, we need to get this one maxed out. Noble purpose. Every rotation, blessed rest for the warriors of our cause. Okay, well, we're going to start a new run up. Remember, Chet, you you gotta pre if you don't participate, we're dead. All it takes is one bad decision. Like that's the way this game works. Now we can't you can't use cancel to get out of every bad decision, but you can use it to get out of like the really really bad decisions. Like fighting the layer that early with an un unprepared team, that was a super zero IQ move. Like that, you guys definitely should have canceled that one. I gotta do it though. If they vote for it, I gotta do it. That's the rules. A thread of connective worship that stretched across vast gulfs of time and tribe, but we did not understand it. The crossroads, where lost souls hope to find their way. Okay, so this is your chance again, team. You can claim some characters. I will give you like one or two minutes to claim a character. Uh, just activate the ability. I'm going to grab another soda in the meantime. So give me one second, chat. I will fill in your character afterwards. Icebox wants back in with the occultist. I can do that. Let me see here. Cultist. To know the abyss. Rice box. One must embrace it. And uh lichen metal is coming back in. Okay. 
don't be shy, don't be shy. Let me see, where is the... Coming back in with the leper. Uh, I'm probably gonna put him in the front row. Right? Lycan Jr. Upon the soul. There's room for one more. I might choose a character this time. You can't, you can't have, you can't have, uh, oh, you can't have two, only one. One, one, one character per person. Okay, I'm gonna pick a character. Pride. More devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. And I'm gonna give you a few seconds, and if you guys don't pick, then I'm just gonna ch throw somebody in there. Um, we need healing in a back rank attack. We do. The occultist is technically a healer, from what I understand. Oh, I see. Damn, that means I gotta change my character, because we can't have two defensive guys. Um, so who is my character going to be? Someone who can attack the back rank. Nothing remains, save a burning will to survive. Okay, I'm going to play as the runaway. Who has a back rank attack? Um, the flagellant does. The hellion does. Okay, looks like no one else is choosing, so I'm going to put in... This is going to be, uh... The Chitalent, and we got Lycan Jr. here. Alright, this is our new team. Actually... Changed my mind. I don't trust his healing. Indiscriminate science stains the surgeon's hands. Okay, and then the chat character is going to be... Hellion. Beneath bloodlust and fury, there is emptiness. There we go. Shame. That's going to be our team. All right, we are locked in. I don't know how good the uh, occultist healing is. His healing is very this questionable in Darkest Dungeon One. Once. What a pity! Well, that's why we've got just in case we we've got me. We got like Fox with Celsus. Just in case Rice Box's heals are awful. You see, even your valley is not immune. The spreading stain. Oh, four zombies. Oh, so fancy. Okay, so the reason we chose um, Hellion is because we get Iron Swan. Let me see, what do these moves do? Not close enough for that. Uh, Abyssal Artillery, that was an attack back in the day. Okay, let's try this. Three to six damage? That's not bad for attacking two people. That's that's not terrible. I'm okay with that. I can live with that. Let's do a poo-poo attack. Actually, they're kind of resistant to poo-poo. Let's go for a bleeding attack. Chomp. All of the Zambies get to make their turn. He actually comes forward with that, which is okay. That shuffles them up a little bit. Um, let's activate defenses. Let's keep poking them at a distance. Like this, this doesn't seem terrible. Let us hope to finish this quickly. 
You take three damage here? Okay, so he's dead. He's dead. That's fine. Um, we've got a uh, blind token, so let's just clear the blind token. And we'll gain one healing on our stress. We didn't bring the flatulent. Nah, we didn't bring the flatulent this time. Let's knock him out of the fight. That denies his turn. Or no, it doesn't. He already went. Oh no, it did. We did good. That was fine. Look at uh, look at the plague doctor here in an offensive role for a change. Doesn't this clear the corpses? I think it clears the corpses. What does this do? Weakening curse? Oh. Oh, a guaranteed skull too. Don't you gain benefit? Why did you go to the back of the ranks? That was mysterious. Do you have a weird coward? Meltdown chance. Turn start. 15% of the time you will retreat. Wow, that is awful. That is awful. That's dreadful. Oh my god, we have got to clear that off of us. We have got to get to a hospital and clear that. Burning brightly for all Oh, that's terrible. That's dreadful. Yeah, like, so 15% of the time she just, like, ruins our formation? That's terrible. And she can't use Iron Swan except in the front rank. Under the mountains on blinking gaze. Okay, here we go. Let's see, what did we get? What, we didn't pick up any items or anything like that? Conventional fare, but fairly priced. Ah, uh, we don't have enough money to buy any of these. No Yu-Gi-Oh cards this time around, unfortunately. All right, let's build, let's buy some supplies. I want some of these. I want some of these. Every road a winding torment. Every turn bent on our destruction. Um. Keep the flame at 40 plus. Well, we're probably going to go back into the fodder. So we should probably buy some poison cures. Okay, let's start equipping. Let's see what else we can do. Let's buy some whiskey to start buffing up our friendship levels. Looks like everyone is kind of in a negative state, so let's just kind of distribute it all over the place. Just try to get things moving in a positive direction. Okay. We can't spend a whole lot else, so Experience. let's go ahead and choose our points However here. Painful. Um, I can already see one weakness of our build, is that we don't have a de-stressor. That does seem like a problem. So let's do withstand. And we do need one ability on the offense. She is our heavy hitter, so... That's a lot of damage. Six to ten, that is good. Okay. 
All right, back into here. So our main concern right now is that we don't have w- – w- one thing I just realized is that we don't have a guy who's very good at dealing with stress, unfortunately. We'll see what we can do, though. Back into the photo. Rancid crop grows unchecked. And Ooh, hero fire. shrine right off the bat. Yes, please. Alright, one of you guys can claim a shrine. Okay, looks like we got hit, so we lost an armor. Uh, our coach is up to three armor, though, so, you know, it takes a lot more to wear us down. I'll give you guys a moment to decide if you want to claim one. If not, okay, so... Looks like Lycan Metal's going for it. I actually don't know the leper's story, so. A, a lion in the blood-soaked grass circled by hyenas who move as a pack. Leper. Chapter 1. Shun them not. Oh, this was an interactive one. Despite the protestations of his royal advisors, he would visit with the sick and dying, providing them what comfort he could. Okay, so let's see. These are puzzles. You can fail them, so let's make sure we don't fail them. So we've got Out of My Way, Royal Rebuke, and Royal Stride. So I think we need to do out of my way because it sounds like he wants to get closer to these people. Boorish interjection. Wow, these guys increase your stress level quickly. Okay, so whatever we do now, we have to do some kind of a... Okay, this is a massive anti-stress anti here. Okay, so I guess that's what we need to do to win this. Okay, and I get to move multiple times. Oh, wait, I can't just go over and over again. Oh, I can stun all of them. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I think we got this one. I don't think we're going to fail this one. I think we got this one. No reason to use the big jump, I don't think. Okay, so here's the next one. That is going to heal our stress, and it knocks another objective out. And we save that one ability, so we should be able to, like, rush to the front now. So let's just out of my way to the front. Here we go. Oh, so he got diseased from that. So that's how he got the leprosy. The ailing and infirm were far less repulsive to him than the venomous whispers of his scoffing entourage. Okay, so we got the ability break. What does it do? It does damage, it ignores defenses, 
and it removes their def Okay, so it strips. It's an anti-defense ability. That's interesting. I think that's a pretty cool sounding ability. So I think I'm going to remove Purge for that. Because we have someone else who can remove corpses. Ooh, we've got another memory over here. So let's go over to the right side. There is danger on this path. I, I don't know what all of their abilities are, so I thought... Oh, God. I didn't realize we were going to take more armor damage. Got to be a little more careful. Got to pay more attention. All right, here's a battle with the Plague Eaters. With their weird, like, meat tree... Doesn't matter who makes the decision here, it's all the same. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, well, it's a bit of a fight here. Got a little bit of everything going on. And of course she falls back. Oh, what an amazing ability. So glad that she can do that. Enemy weakens and wanes. Oh, somebody activated Fox mode. That means I get to make my own decisions for 20 minutes. Let me put 20 minutes on the timer. 20 minutes on the timer right now. Um, that's not a very good attack right now. Let's do weakening curse here. Kind of an annoying attack. Defend. Oh my god, we reduced that by so much. Unfortunately, we are burying the Plague Doctor in there. I don't think that's going to help. I'm, I'm going to try it, though. I don't think we can pull him. Yeah, I'm about to say, pull. That would be tough. Like, he's probably got a lot of resistance. Do you have any attacks that move forward? Oh, thank God you do. But if you move forward... Just attack from here. Malaise. Measured and steady. Oh, yes. I sure would like it if we could get back into our normal formation. That would be great. Wouldn't that be awesome if we could do that? We'll just take that attack there because unfortunately um, we're just really out of position. I mean, I get to use this repeatedly. That's not bad. That does a lot of damage. Please retreat. Please go back to rank. Yes, good, good. Weird reconstruction. Here we go. It'll do somewhere between zero and nine uh, healing. Four. Of trust. It was a heal, I guess. It was more than zero. Let me guess. Back to the back back to the back rank, of course. Why not? Just go go right back to the back rank. Why not? Who needs to be in the front rank? Who why, why would you ever need the meleeers in the front rank? Here. I want to not weird reconstruction. Come on. Come on. Show me some Oh, a 3. A 3. And now they're bleeding for 3 damage per turn. How excellent. Um Smash one of these out of the way. We got to bring him closer. Inhuman appetite. Okay, well, he brought himself closer, but unfortunately, he gets to use his super ability. I'm going to go ahead and take the heal here. Ow. 
actually, we're in a pretty good position. Although he gets to use a super ability, his damage is reduced by 50%. That won't matter if it's a status effect ability, though. We'll find out in a moment. I don't know what his super ability is. Well, that worked out well for us. That's a lot of poison damage, I will say. Let's just clear that off of him. Welcome relief from caustic agony. You don't have any abilities that you can use. That is amazing. So just, let's just shuffle around. We are having, like, the worst fortune right now with... With our ranks. Our, our ranks are just getting owned right now. Exhaustion takes hold. Honestly, this isn't the worst position, though. I think I'm okay with this formation. Uh, let's try to reduce our stress here. I mean, that's the best we can do. He's going to resist that unsurprisingly. Another resist, was it like 75%? Yeah, it's really, he has really high resist. There we go, that's a nice hit. Oh, thank God he didn't send us back. Let's try the finishing move. And he survived it, unfortunately. And he survived the second one, wow. Let's keep tapping him. There we go. In this world, wealth is worthless. So we got some purpose. decent money out of that. We got 12 of the gold money and 16 of the purple money. That's honestly not terrible. I'm mainly worried about stress, though. Like, our characters aren't very good at dealing with stress. An elementary problem, is it not? So I still get 14 minutes to make my own decisions. Decidedly inconvenient. At least we know what's coming. Unfortunately, that battle did eat up a lot of moves, but you know what can you do? Uh, oh, thank God, I get to go first. Here we go, Iron Swan. Oh my God, we only hit for four. That is so bad. Okay, well, he gets stealth, which means I can't, like, do anything about that. Well, actually, it's not true. Maybe he'll miss his attack. That would be awesome. Defend. Also, this attack ignores... Stealth. That's a miss. Protect the child, I see. Nope, it was a hit. Oh my god, we're one, we are one stress off of that. That is so close. I am just gonna cut him. Let's just get him out of here. Um, this is a way for me to attack them both, I guess. Okay, it didn't get rid of one of those, though. And she ran to the back. Let's use a Ladonum and begin fighting our way back to the... That is such a s annoying effect. Fell the tree. This is where... Um, Barristan is really nice because he's able to protect other people. This one is worth it, because we're going to swap positions here. This is okay. Because he's going to, like, you know, we're going to blind both of them. I, I think that's perfectly fine. At least I can attack. Ten damage. That's nice. Um, 
Okay, good. It does hit both. Unfortunately, we're just not doing enough damage to, like, get through that. This is a problem, because, like I said, we're not very good at dealing with stress. I guess we just have to keep attacking him. Like, I, I don't have a great way to engage over there. I mean, I can try to just chip away at him, but it's not going to be the most effective. We need to use this as much as we can to reduce our stress. We only get one stress a turn, though, which is kind of blows. Measure out your Wonderful. And apply it judiciously. Okay, this will allow us to knock him out. And that means now they can no longer defend, although now I'm out of range, so I can't attack. Why not? If it bleeds, we'll hit. There we go. Not the worst fight, but once again, we're having some problems with stress. Like that, like I said, that is an issue. We need a character who's good at dealing with stress is the problem. That's one thing that's really nice about the man at arms is that the man at arms is really good we at um, understand the past. If we are Ooh, how much time do I have left on Fox mode? I got nine minutes. I can pick whoever I want. Um, I know the Hellion becomes pretty good as we unlock her abilities, but so does the... I think I'm going to go with the Hellion. None of us are good at dealing with stress. Like, none of us are anti-stress characters. Uh, your character can de-stress himself, but, himself, but that's it. She was young to join the war band, but any who challenged her readiness were met with clenched fists and violent indignation. Having bloodied the last of her detractors, the matter was considered finally settled. On the eve of battle, she joined her clanmates in a raucous celebration, her stein and her spirits overflowing with abundance. Okay, so we get for the first of the Hellion abilities. So we get Bleed Out. Bleed Out would be amazing if we could actually keep her in the front rank. In fact, I will equip it. That, the problem, though, is that we can't keep her in the front rank because she keeps, like, running away. Jeez, another hit to our armor. The coach's plating is spent. We are exposed. Okay, so we are halfway through. Hopefully we don't lose another armor point. Toothy and corpulent. Slaves to their hunger. Fox mode still has seven minutes and thirty seconds on it, which is nice. Well, we'll fight him. Like I don't, I don't have a problem with fighting him. I mean, I should have a problem with fighting him, possibly because of our stress. The problem is that we don't necessarily de-stress while we're riding. Um. I know this guy does a lot of bleed damage. I don't really care about dying so much as I care about stress. Let's work on knocking this guy out. Let's just get, like, as early as possible, get the de-stressing going.
Okay, he's actually dead this turn. That's actually good news for us. Okay, he ate that guy. Right now, we're not attacking him, so I kind of don't care too much. He's dead. That is four bleeding per turn. That is some nasty bleeding. Holy crap. Um, Let's go for this guy next. Actually, that one's kind of a waste. We'll do the poo-poo attack. Maybe we can Maybe we can get a free miss off of him. Okay, we are out of Ladonums, unfortunately. He doesn't have that much health. Oh yeah, like 30, 30 health is pretty low for being a large character. Okay, that's going to give him a damage bonus. Not He doesn't need any more damage, but yeah, he gets to do more damage. This will cancel it out, though, because um, the negative token neutralizes. A solid hit, but we're going to need a little more than that. Okay, that lets him use his Bilious Cannon. His Bilious Cannon doesn't seem like the worst attack, admittedly. Measured and steady. Okay, he's toast. Let's see here. I think we just go all out on him, honestly. Oh, he missed. Nice. We caught we caught a good one there. Nice, nice. Adding that extra damage to Wicked Hack is definitely gonna is definitely paying off. Keep working on de-stressing. God, we only get one de-stress per turn, which is rough. A slow dissection. An unavoidable Brutal critical hit there. Love to see it. Come on. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. There are solutions. Even the big ones. Okay, so we're kind of walking away at the same situation. Like, our stress and health is about the same as it was. So I'm going to call that a win. I'm going to call that a win. The loathing whispers. Here's some supplies. That could be good. Maybe we'll get another Ladonum in there. Festers. I don't know what this is. I sure hope it's not another ambush. That would be great. Another ambush would make me sad. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these um, well-worn relics. Interesting. Th that's useful. We still got to make it there, though. We got who does blight damage? That would be the plague doctor. We'll take the blight damage. Okay, it's another haunting level. That's kind of annoying as our haunting level is getting up there. We will get a guaranteed minus one haunting there. Though our stress is so high that that's going to turn that's probably not going to turn out. That's probably not going to turn out very well. Yeah, the, this Oh, wow. Wow. Our our torch drain is huge. Hopefully, we can actually make it to the next area without the torch burning out. I still get two minutes of fox time. Okay, so let's go with... Let's see if we can get another heal. Chapter 2. 
head of the class. So I've done this one before, so this one shouldn't be a big deal. Her professor was okay, so for this one, all we have to do is counterattack his conclusions. So far as we review notes... We review notes... Once again, we review notes. And then when he concludes, we do the heated rebuttal. Same thing. Review notes. And we wait for him to make his conclusion. Boom. And then we talked him to death. Nothing, nothing to that one. Nothing, all good. She delighted in the combat. Okay, we get a long range ability. Very nice. Okay, that alarm means the Fox mode is over, unfortunately. So now the chat is able to influence decision making. How dreadful for me. Um. I don't actually think the plague grenade is going to be. Well, actually, that's a lie. Plague grenade could be big. Not yet, though. We don't, we don't need it just yet. Oh, no! We're going to get hit with the armor attack again. Okay, hold up now. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Because if some of our characters die, I can replace them with... characters that are more appropriate. So may maybe it's a blessing in disguise if we lose somebody. So I'm going to do this. All right, so we are going to get ambushed here. So we're going to probably take a good bit of damage. All right, so this one causes... Whenever we get ambushed, we have to fight off the enemy while simultaneously repairing the, um, the cart. Once she had a sliver of decency, now only greed. Although, we might not even be able to survive this. Like, th this, that character is really good. Measure out your violence, then apply it judiciously. Um, I think we just have to go... That would be a stupid move right here. Unfortunately, we're blinded, so let me go ahead and activate this. Yeah, none of these moves look very good, unfortunately. I didn't want to risk the uh, bleed-out attack there, so I would go for it. I can't use that either. I'm just going to use this to start trying to, like, poke into their, uh, their tokens. I'm going to use some of my abilities, because, like, we, we, that, that is not going to be good. I'm going to try to de-stress where possible. Like I said, stress is a huge problem for us. Big hit because we generated a uh, weakness token somewhere. Oof. Everybody gains a dodge token. The best answer to that is going to be this over here because it lets us hit all of their stuff. They dodged them both. Marks of the unprepared. That stun is going to succeed. I think we're going to take one of these, give him a heal, and then I think I'm just going to start trying to bombard the back rank. 
Okay, those went dwindles. through. Dwindles. Yeah, I mean, like, if some of our characters die and we make it through, then I can rearrange our composition, because, like, I don't think our composition is very good. That's going to push him to the back. It depends on who dies. They're really focusing on him, which is kind of not the worst. Like, I kind of don't care if they focus on him, honestly. Let's go with if it bleeds here. Oh, yeah, that's good. He's, he's out of here. Let's defend. And we will poke over here again. That's actually going to get rid of a lot of tokens, so that's perfectly fine with me. Got rid of, like, three tokens there. Like, that's one of the problems right now, is they are just building up a truck ton of tokens. The fact that she gets two turns... Per, per, like, she gets like two turns at a time is really nasty. This guy's dead. There we go. Poison on both of them. Now they get a whole bunch of dodge. He's down. Can make all the difference. I'm going to use this because this is going to get me back into the front rank. And if it dodges, it doesn't matter, because that isn't a very... It's not a very strong attack. Hold fast, for who knows what lurks in the beyond. Okay, so can we please get a heal? Let's also do this. Glimmer of Hope. Can we please get a heal that isn't bad? Dragged back from the brink. We got a two. And we gained... A, oh, nice, nice. We got a two, but then we gained three bleeding per turn. How awesome is that? Banana Bingo Boy with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 559. 559 bits. Thank you so much, Banana Bingo Boy. I had to count that one up. Okay, this is going to eat up a ton of their, their tokens. So I'm just going to go for that. Don't be hating on the heels. Oh, wow. Unexpected. Unexpected. I mean, we have no way to de-stress, so everyone is about to have, like, mental breakdowns and shit, so... Hey, what can you do? And you have to skip a turn to repair the thing. That's the... Okay. Can we please smash this guy? That would be great. Also, there we go. Let's get that out of here. That's nine damage per turn. Thanks to the healing. Thanks to the quote unquote healing. Come on, die. Okay, I think he's dead. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. We can incurse just anything. Anything right now. The problem is that she's forcing us to attack some of these other characters that are irrelevant. I am just going to, like, she can't retreat if she's immobilized. It just doesn't work. Like, she can't retreat if she's immobilized. A raid coming in from Brandon Dunbar. How goes it good, sirs? Conflict. Um, let's quote-unquote heal people. Okay, I guess you can heal yourself specifically. That's a big fat miss. Is directed. That was also a big fat miss. I guess nobody can hit nobody can hit anybody. Let's heal. 
your uh, rice box says his character. No, no. The amount of bleeding damage you've done to people versus the amount of healing you've done. More missing. I can't complain too much about the luck though, because we did do we we did really good against the um, we did great again. You you gain a dodge for stabbing me in the face. That doesn't seem right. You gain dodge because you stabbed me in the face. That seems fair. Ah, more dodging. Here we go. More dodging. Can anybody hit this bitch? No. Let's just keep throwing attacks. Oh, no, you got to skip a turn because you got to repair. Somebody has to land a hit. No. Whoa, here we go. Here we go. None of this is going to help. Okay, can we please kill this bitch? Oh, my God. She's got another dodge counter. She survived it. He has no moves that he can use. Please kill this bitch. Do it. Oh my god, she lived another attack. Just die. And I gotta skip my turn. Die. Oh my god. Okay. We got very fortunate due to the resolute. But like... We used up a lot of supplies in the process. I don't think we're going to make it through the Oblivion's ingress very well. We are so... I don't know if we're dead on Oblivion's ingress, but it, you are... This, this, this run is about to go really bad. This is about to get really bad. Oh, yes. Wonderful. We got a bagpiper in here. And I don't even have a effective way of attacking the bagpiper either. Oh well, let's go for the buff guy first, I guess. You cannot no, you cannot run from these fights specifically. Do I wanna go for Yes I do. Okay, we're gonna go for the poo-poo attack. Unfortunately it did not blind the one we wanted it to blind. Ah, uh, wait, what if I pull him forward? That's an interesting idea. Maybe he isn't very good in the front rank. That's an interesting idea. That was a wasted attack, that's good. That was a critical hit, so, you know, I'm not gonna judge that attack. I think we are going to do this. Maybe we can, like... They're still kind of out of formation at the moment. Uh-oh, here we go. There we go. Who needs help? Although the back rank... Well, that's not true. We get to see what this guy gets to do. Oh, yes, go to the back... That's fine. How awesome. Okay, here comes the bagpipe attack. Oh, yeah! You can't do anything except this. And we still can't do anything because we're out of position. Malaise. Measured and steady. Well, I guess we don't get any more of Ricebox's quote-unquote healing. Malaise. 
This is like one of the most dysfunctional parties. Um, okay. You get a cell feel at least. We've got to sh change ranks. I cannot believe the perk that they gave the Hellion. Like, that is, like, one of the most devastating... I would rather have any perk than that. That was, like, the worst perk we could have gotten. Wow, that was a nice hit. I will say that. That was a nice hit. That was a nice hit. The sum total of violent equation unfavorably rounded down. Um, let me see here. We can attack, actually. L let's use this ability. This ability is designed to break the enemy's defenses, so we can use that. Well, what do you know? The bagpiping guy, he can't attack the back rank anymore if there's no back rank. Test of all. That's right. You 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 get those gravestones. It's, we're, we're gaining so many of these, we're gaining so many of these, um, uh, blinding tokens that we just can't attack. Like, there's another blinding token. Like, we just can't attack because we're so inaccurate. Oh, we hit. Maybe I should just attack. That's the answer, just like barbar- like the Grug Barbarian attack. Okay, we're just gonna keep attacking. Nope, the bad accuracy was going to catch up to us sooner or later. What is it, then, that gazes back so intently from the abyss? I'm surprised he's not using regen on their front line. I mean, at least that was a hit. An interminable conflict. Like, any damage we do is like, it's barely anything to them. Well, there's no one else to be mad about it, so it's all good. He was mourned years ago. Now he is simply gone. All right, guys. Each milestone. You guys got to pick better, better characters. A little easier. When you got, when you guys choose your characters, we we got to choose characters that have like a better synergy together. Like the that one guy sucked ass. The um the occultist. Maybe he's better when he gets more of his skills unlocked. But he fucking Up sucked ahead, ass. A light in the limitless expanse. Okay, so let's see. The more they have to hold on to, the harder they will fight. 
Which is the one that lets me? Okay, we're just gonna keep upgrading this. These wheels are invested with noble purpose. Every rotation, blessed rest for the warriors of our cause. I mean, like, if you guys just want to choose your favorite characters, we can keep doing that, but I think we're gonna get stuck in the first area if we don't choose a team that's a bit more like, you know, big brain. The house on the borderlands. Half swallowed by the steam. We gotta choose like a better team. We required the highest standard of empirical evidence. Let's okay, so since we got like owned, I am gonna choose the first character. Compromised by the cynicism of our peers. The crossroads. Who will step forward? Upgrading the, the heroes is almost useless because I can't control what characters people choose. Like the the chat gets to choose most of the characters. So the I, I am gonna pick one character. Pride. More devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. Alright. So now's your chance, chat. This is your chance to choose some characters. Hit the button and choose a character. Although, if you don't choose any characters, then I will start filling them up. It's up to you guys, though. Okay, I don't see anybody, so I am going to pick one more character. Zalutri. An undying blight upon the soul. So we got a grave robber and a vestal. And what's the other one? Okay, so no, I see we got three. So we've got grave robber. Let me just get them in here. I'll figure their order later. Grave robber. Into the catacombs of Vestal. The and who was the other one? Okay, so actually somebody already claimed Man at Arms. Oh, I don't have to do it. So this doesn't have to be my character then. So this is going to be... Um... Who claimed Man at Arms? Oakens. So this is going to be Oakens at Arms. Who claimed the Grave Robber? Rice box claimed the grave robber. Crimson cr claimed the um, the vestibule. Okay, so that means I get to pick a character. What do you know? That'll be this will be the chat character. Ah, uh, what do we need? You can go into the front rank, and actually, I really like the Plague Doctor, but I guess we're not going to use the Plague Doctor. Um, let's do the Plague Doctor. This is almost the same team, but this team works. That's the thing. No, I won't. I won't use the same team. We'll use. We'll use. Here we go. No, you get. We already. We already. We are. We already claimed them. Well, our care. But this is our team. Our team is very heavy on blight. Is that going to be a problem? Is that a bad thing? I think that might be a bad thing. I think that might not be a good thing. Yeah, I don't know if I like that idea. Is Blight... Is everybody loaded in on Blight a bad thing? We could just avoid the Fodor. 
we'll, we'll try. We'll try it anyways. All right, I'm going to customize their abilities ahead of time. Oh, here we go. I like the Grave Robber in the front rank, generally speaking. Like, the closer she is to the front, I tend to like her. Um, in fact, I would like her here. Maybe I will... Who would I replace her with, though? Maybe the Runaway? Nothing remains, save a burning will to survive. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try this. Like I like the um, I like the grave robber in the front because she has two self healing abilities. So I actually want them to attack her aggressively because she can drink alcohol to heal herself, and she can, um, I guess, eat graves to heal herself. So she has a large number of self healing abilities, which is actually pretty nice. It is strange, I agree, that, um... I kind of wish he was still bleeding, because I feel like there are not enough bleeding characters. The flame. Sacred and sputtering. The last hope for us all. Like, Man-at-Arms is probably my favorite character, so, like, having Man-at-Arms in the party is always a big deal. You can feel it. A change in the air. This should be you interesting. See, uh, we have some ability to attack the back rank. To the spreading stain. So she can throw basically hand grenades to the back rank. Like let's check. Let's check. Let's test our back rank abilities. You should. Yep. Yep. Okay. Good. Perfect. Um. Let's put it on here. Consec I, I have used the, the Vestal a little bit. Consecration of Fortitude is pretty handy. It basically gives us a free buff each turn. So he is out next turn. We can ignore him. I'm just going to buff up, honestly. I don't care if she gets attacked, so I'm going to guard the back rank. Because, like I said, she can eat corpses. You know, she can drink alcohol. She's got a lot of ways to heal herself. What is their poison? Oh, okay. It, it is fairly high, actually. Don't be too impressed by the damage there. She has to spend some of her charges in order to do that. So it, it's it's not as impressive as it looks. And um, Barristan can attack to... He can attack to rank 3, which is solid. That's a miss. Yeah, there's no... No Crusader is kind of sad, I agree. Let me just tap this guy out. On to the next. One thing that I do like about having the runaway is that she also gets a poo-poo attack. Eating some graves. Actually, drink some alcohol. Because that gives us dodges. Like, Runaway has a few interesting attacks. It just kind of depends. That's a miss. Let me see if I can knock this guy out. I'm gonna eat a grave. Mmm, yummy graves. Lesson taught is a lesson learned. In this world, I can't believe they only give me two mastery points. Purpose. That makes me a little sad. Makes me a it makes me a sad person. Push on to the inn. 
Rest and resupply await you. Well, I think this is weird is that there's only one fire element character. That would be the runaway. It's like... There are other people who can cause burn, but it seems like the runaway is, like, the only, like, fire-themed character. Rest now for a time. Okay, back to where we started. Step one, provisional fare, but fairly priced. Alcohol. Well, let me see what we got here. The provinces and cantrips of our land crumbling. And so we're probably going to go to the tangle first. I, I don't like going to the sprawl first. The sprawl is pretty tough. Or at least I, fi I find it to be harder than normal. So I think the tangle is a first, a, a pretty good first one. So I do want Ladonums. Um, they don't do burning. I do want some glimmers of hope. Um, they don't do poison either. So those aren't important. Let's go ahead and equip these items. You can be in charge of morale. You can have the glimmer of hope. What else can we buy? None of these seem worth it. So let's go ahead and buy some whiskey. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Try to get our relationships moving in a more positive... Yeah, it looks like everyone just kind of doesn't really care about each other much. So let's just go ahead and get everybody to like people. Now we got to pick our skills. One the skill we're definitely mastery. choosing is this one. And then I think our other skill is probably going to be the poo-poo attack. There we go. We got super poop. We've got a little more money, but I don't think there's anything to spend it on that's particularly relevant. Don't need healing. We... M I'm gonna buy one of these, just... If we fight the... If we fight the, um... The undead knight guy, the undead knight guy does cause a lot of bleeding. Uh, okay, let's try it. Off we go. We're going to the tank. Trenches and tents. The front tangle time. Of a war that was never fought. Time for a tangle in the tangle. Okay. So the tangle. I think the tangle is a good, really first mission area because it's not super difficult. That doesn't mean it's. It's still difficult because it's darkest dungeon, but it is probably the easiest of them. Only resignation. Wow! These are some choices right off the bat. Ooh, there's a memory there. Ooh, going we are not going to a creature den. Creature den can go to Oh my god! Two shrines in a row! I mean, it doesn't even matter if we lose. Two shrines in a row. Okay, I'll give you guys a few seconds. If you want, you can claim a memory. You can only claim a memory that belongs to your character. Uh, if the chat claims a memory, then it goes to the chat character. So this is uh, this is Crimson Mirage Drake's character. This is Ricebox's character. This is the chat character. And this is Oaken's character. Okay, so Crimson's claiming a, a Vestal memory. Vestal. Chapter 1. Want not. Together with her sisters, she tended the Order's sacred flame in pious humility. The Abbey's austere arches and sanctified masonry afforded her a life of sheltered privilege that few beyond the walls could imagine. Discipline was paramount, and when forbidden desires would seek to distract her from monastic toil, she smothered them. Reluctantly. Okay. What do we get? 
Ministrations. Ooh, that seems pretty good. So we can remove quite a few different... That seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. Okay, let me see. What am I going to remove? That's a heal. We can't remove that. This one. There we go. Ministrations. There we go. A simple choice. I'm picking this before be. anyone can counter it. I'm picking it immediately. We get two memories. Roadblock. What are we dealing with? Zombies. Um... This guy is pretty low health. Maybe we should... He, he is going to go invisible immediately. Does that matter? Yeah, let's go for it. He did resist, unfortunately. Stumbling and that changes our ranks a little bit. That doesn't bother me too much. She isn't bad in this rank either. Let's see here. Let's buff up our tank. Let's get Oaken's online. He's going to take a lot of heat, so might as well just get as many of these up as we can. Let's. What is his resist? 30 is pretty low. Like, we can poison this guy. Um, I don't want him to get that attack off. Some of these attacks are really annoying. So I would prefer it if he didn't get them off. Nah. We'll use the blind here. Rat, wow, we hit her with everything except the blind. Every Everything hit except that. Jeez. This could be a strong hit here. Nine, nine. That's pretty good. Okay, he finally got Song of Shadows off. Took him a few tries. I think we just keep... Wait, I do have the reach here. Four damage? Yes, I do a minimum of four. So that's a hit right there. We'll take the hit there. So that was a guaranteed kill. Okay, he's going to ambush us with Hunting Melody. Fortunately, we do have a de we can de-stress, so it's not the it's not the end of the world, not that big of a deal. Let's blast this guy while he's revealed. Um, I want to change ranks. Let's get back into our normal formation. Fortunately, their offense is not good enough to really be too much of a concern here. Oh, I should have used de-stress there. I can do it next turn. Three health. Uh, let's just knock this guy out. A petty hindrance. An okay hit. There we go. So we actually got the, the the double blind charges there. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, de-stress. Okay, we're looking okay now. So in her case, we can't attack the front rank. However, of all the people that can't, it, it's not that big a deal. It's okay. Oh, he's going to live. He's going to live on one hit point. Wow. That's the end of him. We are the flame. 
Ooh, mastery point. That's what we need. We need a lot of mastery points. The fact that we only start with two really stinks. Like, chapter one, you get to start with five? All right, on our way again, you guys can choose another memory if you want. If nobody chooses, then I'm going to choose a memory. As usual, you can only choose a memory for the character you control, and if you don't have a character, then if you claim a memory, it will go to the chat character. Just gonna wait a moment or two longer. Okay, Rice Box is taking the Grave Robber. Chapter 2, Nightcap. I'm guessing this one's an actual battle. Yeah, I thought so. Night after night of disrespect and abuse, enough was enough. Okay, so this one, if I remember right, we've got to poison his liquor cabinet. So this one doesn't do anything. So let's try um, let's try fade back. This gives us a de-stress. Okay, I don't think we can go for the poison just yet. Like that would be too easy. Okay, he is poisoned. Okay, no, no, we're fine. We're fine. We just gotta wait for the poison to take effect. It's got three more turns. All right, let's see what memory we get. Probably something related to poison. Smirking as his empty apologies came in desperate, choking gags. And we got a mastery point, thank God. So we got repartee. This requires stealth. It generates three evasion tokens and two taunt tokens. That's interesting. And then removes... That actually could be useful. That actually seems like it could be decent. Uh, what would I sacrifice for it, though? Probably this one. Because we're mainly using the poison darts. Uh, let's see here. So we can go left or we can go right. Doesn't really tell us much either way. What's our flame at? Our flame is at 82. There is a support encounter here, which could be nice. On the other hand, we know we're going to get two loathing. We're going to get at least one loathing. We don't know what those are. I think I'm going to go left. I think I'm going to go left. We venture blindly forth at the mercy of the road and its myriad dangers. Ooh, that's good. That hold, 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 hold the coach. Hold the coach. We got, we got an item that's okay. Hold the coach. There we go. Bandages. Also, did we equip this item? Yes, we did. All right, so we do have a bit of anti-bleed, which will be useful if we have to fight the knight. The knight 
causes a lot of bleeding damage if we wind up fighting Look upon him. their noble struggle and be humbled by it. So the flame is at 76. This is probably the best one right here. This will refill the flame, give us a, uh, a food, and nobody disagrees with it. And we got mm, yummy slime mold. Yummy, yummy. Okay. Oh, my God. Look how fortunate we are. We got another hero shrine. You guys can claim another memory if you want. As usual, though, if nobody claims a memory, I will assign one. Resigned to the end of things. They waited for death. We're doing really good on memories. Like, I'm really happy about that. Okay, so someone can claim a memory. I will wait a few moments. Oh, man. Oh, thank God we're getting some memories for the man at arms. The man at arms advanced skills are insanely strong. Chapter 2 A Leader of Men. I don't know which one he gets here, but some of them are like really good. Behold the conquering general, marching his men to victory. The good news is that we don't have to win this one. In fact, there is no way to win this one. To battle! <laughs> I don't think I've ever had them kill even a single guy before. Like they just get their asses kicked. We're getting owned! I don't know who these guys are, but they're like... They're like super badass. Like these, I guess this is like, we're like a Steiner general. Here we go, um... To the front lines! No, you! Retreat, you're wounded! Get back! If we focus fire on this guy, maybe we can kill one of them. Eleven damage, wow. Hey, this can't all be our fault. Like, look, our guys have terrible stats. This guy has twelve health. These guys weren't well trained. Like it can't all it can't be all the man at arms fault. You you are a coward. To the front! The death all oh, cowards. That it awaits them. Quick, finish off this one who's vulnerable in the back. You got killed in one hit, you weakling. Quick, my most powerful ability. I don't know. Fortunately, I think we win. Yeah, we win. Oh yes, we got stand fast. Now that's a good ability. And total failure of command. That's what I'm talking about. And we got a mastery point. So okay, we're we're finally getting some good abilities. The loathing festers. Okay, let's get stand fast in here. I think I will use that setup. This one cancels uh, enemy counterattacks. The knight is capable of counterattacking, so that that is possibly relevant. I kind of want to go do this resistance encounter because we need to reduce our loathing level. Travel without proper reconnaissance. A hasty and reckless thing in Okay, so we've got a road battle. That's fine, actually. I don't mind that. This is fine. Starting out with the fire breath, kind of annoying. 
do all of them all of them get to attack first? Oh, they're all fast, so they all get to attack first. You guys are a bunch of big fat cheaters. Let's start by throwing poop in people's faces. Um, let's go with this right here because he's gonna attempt to use a combo attack. That's two turns of blind. That's pretty nice. Ah, uh, let's knock out the poison guy. Consecration on you. And let's reduce your stress level. And generate a block token. Setting us all on fire, annoying. More stress attacks. We're not really attacking this guy, so I kind of don't care that he's doing... Ooh, look at the miss. The poo-poo attack succeeds. Ah, uh, let's go... Like, we need to knock some of their... We need to target their back rank. I could... Yeah, I think I'm going to attack. Ooh, nasty hit over there. What's going on, Crimson? All right, let's keep attacking the back rank. Time to hold the line. Mm. This attack, this ability is amazing. It gives me like two defense charges, and then every turn I just gain more defense. I, g I gain one defense charge per turn, so it's just it's 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 pretty good, is what I'm saying. So he's dead next turn, I believe. Front mortar? I don't think I care that much about that. It does shuffle us around a little bit, but I also kind of don't care that we're being shuffled around. Ah, uh, let's just cure one of these. Ooh, he's going to be stunned. So if I cure this, then it will cancel his stun. Extinguished at last. So over here, um, he he's going to taunt it and take it off of him, but that's fine because this is just going to give him... Look at all those status effects. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to bellow in order to cancel his retaliation. Well, that guy's dead, so that was a waste of a turn. And now we can just pummel the crap out of this guy, honestly. Do I care that I'm in the front rank? I kind of don't. Like, she's honestly not bad at the front rank. Like, she loses some of her flexibility, but not that much of it. Compassion quiets the howling mind. What are you gonna do, guard dog? You don't have anything to guard now. Oh my god, nasty critical hit there from Rice Box. See, that, that, that's how this team works a little bit better. Interesting. Like, you know, I, I, I like the runaway. I like blind counters, personally. I think I find blind counters to be like, you can get a big swing on it, especially on tough enemies. I mean, when those boss enemies miss their attacks, like, that is such a big swing. Ooh, I want those, I want those, I want those. All right, who's going to equip those? You. There we go. All right, where's the map taking us? So here's an assistance encounter. That's fine. You know, more flame is fine. We're down Missing to 71. Oblivion. These folk have kept their honor. Have you? I guess we're just going to take this one. Unfortunately, not everybody agrees with this decision. What can you do, though? What can you do? I kind of do like the D. Let me see if there's a better ability here. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to move this one here because right now we're doing fine on the flame. Like, our flame is not in danger. 
So we've got a um, we've got a barricade, and then we can hit this um, this stronghold, and that'll knock the the loathing level down. So that's actually big news there. Okay, lots of dogs. This looks like it's going to be an annoying fight. Um, I, I guess it's kind of a waste. Like, you know, we don't need it. Let's... Yeah, let's let's start this for now. We'll do, we'll do that. We'll we'll get started with this. Okay, is he gonna? Are they gonna watchdog each other? They are watchdogging each other. Wow, that's a move, I guess. Poo poo on their main offense. He gets two counters there. That's nice. So that means he could miss two attacks potentially. He did succeed on that one. It's fifty fifty. It's a coin toss. Um. We're okay on stress, so I think I'm going to start with this. Stand fast. Let's do... We're okay on defense counters, so I'm just going to do ministry. Well, no, no. No, let's do this. Like, this guy, he's actually pretty vulnerable at the moment. Yeah, eight damage? That's nice. Okay, I might do ministrations next turn just to cancel some of this bleeding damage. Yeah, let's knock this guy out of here. Okay, he he never got a chance to really do anything. That works for me. Let's just start clearing some of these. Ooh, nasty counterattack. Ooh, don't like that. Don't like that. Okay, that'll clear the bleeding. And I think we just attack here. Yeah, we just attack here. Unfortunately, these guys are really evasive, which means, like, it's like a coin toss whether or not we're going to get any damage. On the other hand, to compensate for it, they're, they're kind of, they're not the strongest of enemies, to be totally honest. This will clear this. And it won't trigger his reaction attack. Because it wasn't an attack that actually does damage. I can heal here? That's the reason why I don't mind her being so close to the front. She has a lot of ways to heal herself. I'm going to take this hit while he's vulnerable. He doesn't have any evasion. That's the end of him. Um, let's just go for it. Oh my god, what a hit right there. Another devastating 16 damage critical hit. Took him out in one hit. The past is gone. Let it die. Okay. So that resistance encounter went fine, or that roadblock encounter went fine. So here is our resistance encounter. So now we're going to be dealing with the zombies. Debasing themselves in the face of the end. Okay, it doesn't matter what we got here. All of these look perfectly good. No difference in the choices. Let's see what we're dealing with. Interesting. It's actually a mishmash. It's the... The, like... Zombie soldiers plus this guy here. Okay, so... This guy technically does a bit more damage. Uh, but at the same time, those guys actually hurt too. Okay, we'll, we'll blind one of these guys. Let's get our defenses going. I think it's okay to use a um, one of our crow's feet here. With them yet. I don't want to use this. What? What is the effect? Oh, extra critical hit. Um, that's probably worth it. Yeah, I'll take the critical hit there. That's not bad. Carve the toy. Yeah. 
So that ignores our defenses there. Like I said, that's why they're one of their major damage dealers. I am going to go ahead and pump up my defenses. Ooh, the poo-poo attack comes through. Okay, you got six health left. Do I go for you? I think I go for you. Yeah, I think I just finish him off. And over here, we're just going to put pressure on the, uh, the Arbalist. Three damage per turn there. We can throw these Firefly, basically these Molotovs can be thrown into the back rank, which is part of the reason I chose her. That's a lot of, what is that, three, five, six damage? Let me just tap him to finish him off. Okay, that should be enough to knock him out of here when it's his turn. Agony by accumulation. Now, like I said, she's got a lot of ways to heal herself, so we're not too worried about that. Let's go ahead and blind this guy. Lots of good effects there. Drink some uh, 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 alcohol, baby. That's a miss. I'm going to go ahead and cure her um, bleeding effect. Just get it off of her. And I think we just beat the crap out of this guy now. Yeah. I think that's Bernsta. Bernsta, did you change your name? If that is Bernsta, like, thank you very much for the T1, Miss Bernsta. I'm just going to heal. It also denies his attack here. That means he has no choice because uh, of the stealth charge here. Now we're just we're just gonna let him have it. We are just gonna lay into this guy. Like he's got he's got nothing on us right now. How goes Green Hell for you, Miss Bernstein? That's another miss. Look at the payoff. The payoff, baby. Oh, let's use Reparty. We haven't tried Reparty. Won't try it out. So that reveals us, gives us two taunt charges, but now look at but we get a lot of evasion. It's kind of cool, actually. I'll give it to her. Oh, that's a miss. Day 220, got it. Let's play it safe. We're going to go with the blind here. There's no... Let's just be methodical. Like, you know, like, there, there's no need to, you know, like, why take more damage when we can just, like, methodically dismantle these guys? And that's the end of them. Okay, that went really well. Reprieve. So we got 12 of the gold money, 16 of the purple money, and we are almost done with this step of the run. The next one is an Oblivion's Ingress. So we got to match up against the the cultists. We'll see what they've got. We're in a good position to deal with the cultists, though. Like we we've got, we're in pretty good condition. Like the team that the chat chose, like the team you guys chose, this is a way way more cohesive team. Let's see what we're up against. Oblivion's Rampart. I'm not sure what the difference between Rampart and Ingress is. Rampart might be more advanced. Like, maybe it'll include a, a heavy guy. No, it didn't. This is a very standard formation. So we are going to go ahead and just hit them with this. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start working on um, these guys here. These guys got to go. Interesting first choice. Interesting first choice. This guy is a heavy, heavy, nasty, like, back range attacker, so we got to get rid of him. Blood Bond coming in. We've got the health to deal with that for now. I'm going to go ahead and just use... I, I, I wind up never using these, so I'm just going to use these now. 
our, our front line has to hold, so. We'll take a moment to get the front line online. Um, I am actually going to do probably this. So this character is trying to get a critical hit in, so I'm going to do the smokescreen poo-poo attack right on him, and maybe we can dodge their... Maybe we can dodge that ability. That would be really big. That'd be great for us. Bringing my defenses online? Let's hit the uh, the Herald. I've had enough of his bagpiping ways. Look at all those overtime effects. There's so many things happening to this guy. Okay, let's see. So he's going to heal for six. So we're, we're, we're actually breaking even on him. So let's keep pressuring him. That's a miss. So he missed on the critical hit. Oh, the, the big brain attack. So I do have the reach to hit here. Okay, here's his big attack. He's got to be able to use it a few times in a row for it to really matter. I'm going to cure both of these off of me. Let's just get it off now. I'm pretty sure this guy's dead next turn, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead next turn. So let's start working on this guy next. Uh, that's their buff guy. That I, I hate buff guys. They don't need any buffs. They don't need to be any stronger. We're going to throw into... Wait, wait, no, we're not. We are going to blind both of these guys now. I don't know if I want to take five damage per turn. Maybe I don't care. Maybe I don't care. I, maybe I don't care. Let's go for this. Smoke screen. We, we put a point in the smoke screen for, for the reason of using it. We're going to use it. Okay, that one went through. But she resisted the point. That is back. That's fine. Let's hit the back rank here. They're going to buff up. We are causing a lot of trouble with their offense right now because of their... The accuracy issues are definitely becoming a thing. Over here, we're going to go ahead and reduce her stress level. Steady yourself. Okay, that's okay. We do get the heal first. Seven damage per turn on that. Uh-oh. Okay, we're not at death's door. Okay, we're fine. We're not at death's door. So instead, I'm going to do Absinthe here. Or I could go... Yeah, I'm going to do Absinthe here. This character can be very hard to bring down due to the quantity of... Um... Relief comes rarely in these times. Savor it the self-healing she has. So I don't mind if she takes a little bit of pressure. That, that, that is okay. I am going to go ahead and continue attack, surprisingly. That went through. When you attack an enemy with a skull, you do get a, a minor self-heal there, which is pretty nice. I'm also going to take this heal here. I don't want that corpse to disappear, so I'll take that. That will also mean she can't be targeted. Unless they cleave. That's a miss. Get it out of my sight. So this person has a, um, a damage token. So let's go hit the blind here. That's a miss. Burned her, burned her token there. That's what I like to see. Uh, let's go ahead and... Honestly, honestly, he's got enough defense tokens, so I'm going to put it on her. You're dead next turn? Yes, you're dead next turn. How excellent. So let's go ahead and start attacking. I will get a heal from this, so I'm going to take my heal. Now we can use Repartee. 
That's going to add two taunt counters on her, which is fine because she has a defense counter and two dodge counters. We neutralized her defense token there and got a burn. That's a miss. So we get to keep our defense token there, which we like. Um, I think we attack the frontline character because she can't attack front. That's one thing I really like about Grave Robber is like... She's surprisingly hard to kill in the front. She may seem vulnerable in the front, but she has ways around it. Exhaustion takes hold. So both of them get to go next. Um, I think what I want to do then is blind one of them. We're, wait, no, they already have a blind there. Let's blind this one. That way they both have blind on them. And we're constantly generating these skull tokens as well. Oh, what a humongous miss. Oh, man, that's such a massive loss of damage there. Let's go for this. I could have swore that that's supposed to uh, ignore defenses, but I guess not. So even if she gets to attack, she takes a penalty there, which, you know, what? It doesn't matter to me. Let's. We're not de stressing. We're supposed to be de stressing. Okay, let's continue our attack. Actually, let's, let's finish you off. Looking good, looking good. So, normally, this would have been a lot more useful in the beginning. The rule to this character is, when we throw the Molotov cocktail, if we hit somebody with a skull, then the fire spreads to a random neighboring character. Unfortunately, they're all dead, so we don't get as big of an effect out of it. But we're in pretty good shape right now, so I think we're just going to attack. Although, we are going to eat a critical hit here, There's, un unless she misses. She could miss. Oh my god, she missed there, and we minimized the damage there. Like, the absolute, just, chef's kiss. And our defense is back up as soon as it went down. And steady. Let's just keep going. I was thinking about blitzing her down, but, you know, let's just play it safe. Like, why take more damage than is necessary? Blood commute, not enough to do anything significant. Let's go ahead and de-stress. Why is Man-at-Arms so good? That's my question. Not enough to take her out. Let's just tap her to get her out of here. Down to death's door. Can we finish her off? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, my God. That was so much better than last run. So we got a dark impulse. That would be good for pl uh, blight. Uh, we got a greater bouncer's belt. That is definitely going to go on... Um, actually, maybe it goes on the Grave Robber, the because she does so base. much self-healing. It actually might be great on her due to the sheer quantity of self-healing she does. I mean, look at our stats. Like, that that's a pretty clean victory right there. That's the reason why I do like uh, the Runaway, though. That blinding attack she does, like, that can make a really big... Sometimes you get, like, unfortunate, and uh, they just keep landing their hits on the 50-50. But, you know, most of the time, it's going to be 50-50. You know, they're going to get some in, they're going to miss some. And overall, I find that it tends to work in your favor. The familiar hearth crackles invitingly once again. Okay, let's see what our quirks are. Oh, we got a good one for change. Another good one. Oh, lots of good ones. What do you know? Wow. Wow. How awesome is that? We got some good ones for a change. Okay. 
Pretty good. So uh, amazing progress for our first stream. As you know, I deleted my progress, and somehow we managed to beat the brain on my first try on a brand new profile. I, I just never would have imagined that happening. The chat, you guys get to pick the characters and whatnot, so this will be the chat gets to steer the course of the battle in addition to what we do. If you enjoy this kind of gameplay style, well, tune back in, and as you can see, I've reorganized things. So you'll want to click this one right here. I'll link it right here. This is where the episodes are going to go. All of the episodes get uploaded right here. So, you know, they'll each get their own unique thumbnail, episode number in the top right corner. You are watching episode one of the new Darkest Dungeon playthrough. You can just click all these crazy links here. They do all kinds of wacky stuff. And yes, I will be back here tomorrow. Uh, let me check the schedule. In my Discord. If you're ever wondering what the schedule is, I have it in my Discord right over here. So we are playing Darkest Dungeon all week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So come in tomorrow around 3 p.m. Eastern Time. That is GMT minus 5. And I will be playing for a good 3 to 5 hours. You know, I, I don't have a set amount of time. 3 to 5 hours, though, is what you can expect. And we are going to be playing more Darkest Dungeon. Remember, you guys get to steer us to victory or to defeat. Till next time, though, thank you, you guys, for being such a great... Wait, is that... That's the bounty hunter. So. A glint in the shadows. The hunter is here. We could get the bounty hunter if we wanted him, but, you know, like... I don't know. I, I like this team. This is a pretty good team. It's a pretty good team, boys. We did pretty good there. Anyways, till next time. Come back tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, GMT-5, and we will hit some more of the Dankest Dungeon Part 2 with the chat. You guys get to choose characters. You guys get to make some decisions, and we'll see if we can't beat this game down. We've already knocked out one boss. A very surprise upset defeat for the brain. I didn't think we were going to beat him, but it didn't matter what I thought because we knocked it out of the park. Anyways, till next time, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.